at hello can you hear me how we doing happy friday let me bring you up let me see what you're saying mm, crack your back how are we chat hello hello yeah we're in we're in baby kyle when is the right time to go media blackout on spider-man Discarded digit. I think we can watch the E3 stuff and then go blackout immediately after E3. That's my plan anyway. Um, El Tyranto, 22 months. That's a lot of months. Thank you, El Tyranto. Super close to that. Um, Crystal A. Um, all right, so uh, let's start the stream. We're going to play some Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets tonight. We're playing the PlayStation 1 version. Uh, but before we get to the game, we have to check out the art that was sent in for last week's Um Jammer Lammy stream. We did a whole playthrough, uh, and there's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot of Um Jammer Lammy art. Uh, so let's just check it out. Yeah, I got headphone hair for sure. That's what that little, but you know, I'm putting on a new headphone for the rest of the stream, so not a big deal. Hydro Shutterbug, 20 months in a row. Um, we got a t couple of these last minute. Like, I was just checking the email right before we went live. Uh, this is Masan crushing that laptop. Love that. Volatax64. Only person who depicted Masan smashing a laptop. Why isn't all the art of that deficient monkey? Thanks for the resub. Um, here's uh, one of those babies saying, I'll shut up now. And yeah, of course. Like, I was going to, like, not humor you. I was going to be like, okay, time to move on. But, okay, let's let's enhance. I actually really like that you keep this pixelated, even though, like, clearly, like, these elements right in here are super high def. I mean, look at this. Cheddar the Artist. Well done. And then I see Vex for Prez 2020 there, too. Hey, okay. Not my president. Nothing but respect for my Vex. Okay, so this is from Massimo. Um, this is sick. Massimo just does some sick stuff, right? Man, look at this thing. Um, she's running through, like, you can see elements from the stages. You can see the bunny and, like, the, the hose. And Rami, of course, is, like, this cool 2D element. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Sick, 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 sick. Question chat. Do you think Rami... Uh, has a nose piercing across here, or do you think those are her eyes? Let me know. Eyes are piercing. Uh, Jay Steinkopf, new sub. Thank you, Jay. JJ, excuse me, there's two J's there. JJ, let me know if you think that those that's a nose piercing or two eyes. We gotta come to a consensus on this. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of piercings. Okay, it's canonically a piercing. Okay, um... This is cool. Here, Lammy, catch. Wow, good arm. That's from Mebid. And hold on. Uh, chat can look at the images anytime they want now at Mebid underscore true art. It looks like we're plugging t Twitter accounts now. Why not? Um, I'm curious about like your method here. Like, why do those lines look so good? How do you do that? How do you do this? So good looking lines. Okay. Chat, this is what we call the full Shenu. Spools of thread, thanks for the resub. This is the full Shenu. This is a uh, maximum Shenu. Vex Shenu, for many weeks during our SSX streams, uh, was willing to make us art that was kind of pleasant. For some reason, Umjammer Lammy awakened something in Vex Shenu. Something was reawakened. Oh god, it's turning. <laughs> yeah, chat, that's the full Shanu. That's it right there. Oh, like, even the frog's creepy. Even the frog on Parappa's hat is like, you know what? I should really make that creepy. <laughs> Why, Vex? Why? See, here we go. Look at this. A pleasant, nice PNG. That's from Casey slash Enderglow. All right. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Huh? I mean, chat, can you see the difference between these two pieces? 
Do you get it? <laughs> Why? Why, Vex? Here we go. Um, from Rachel Thelaid, I'm always scared now that you have the pronunciation guide and you keep it up that I'm not quite nailing your last name. Uh, Rachel, the one on Twitch, uh, it's comedy night. PJ Barry's here. What's the deal with luncheon meats? Uh, no dojo. Boo. I do not believe. Stop it! And be funny. Um, stop it is, of course, Sunny Funny's first line. No, not first line, but she says that in uh, Parappa 1. So I really like that she's saying that there. Um, when we enhance, you see that this is a Frosty, in fact. What's the deal with luncheon meats? This is great. Um, for some reason, anytime Lammy heard the word casino, she was reminded of the dream she had in which Chop Chop Master Onion lost his dojo, but in his mind, it still exists, and in fact, it is a casino. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize he made it a Rodney, a Rodney Greenblatt film. Um, now put these kids to sleep, will ya? It's like, imagine if Cor Scorsese put that line on a movie poster, you'd be in, right? Is it Scorsese? All my life I heard Scorsese, but then I just saw a commercial. It's like, Martin Scorsese. It's like, oh, okay. I'm willing to change. This is sick. This is from Tyson, who gave us the Pokemon entry, Pokedex entry last week. So I'm, I'm assuming like Tyson's like a pixel artist here. Well, n no need to assume anymore, right? It's pretty cool. Chad, you got any input on this Scorsese, Scorsese? No, Chad is not willing to make a stance on that. Okay, no, that's fine. I get it. Um, oops, I shrank that by accident. Here, let's grow you. Grow, grow, make my monster grow. So this is like another pretty disturbing piece. Uh, here we see the gravestone of Lammy. Um, it's all in the mind. I said fly, not die. The fire's out now. You said you would do anything. But not this. Not this. Um, I'm assuming this is... That, as that's from at Mark S. Rousseau. Um, I'm assuming this is because Lammy dies at one point in the story, right? And so I guess these characters would be aware of it. And so maybe it's nice to see them sad. Chat knows that, know that she comes back. Lammy doesn't stay dead. She doesn't stay dead. Okay. All right, so... We're having ourselves a creep off this week. Little creep off. Is the top of my head red? Look at that. Isn't that freaky? It's just like parted. It's just like parted there. I was like, man, is that like a, a weird, very particular bald spot? But it's just because of uh, the, the way that my hair is sticking up. Or maybe it's a weird particular bald spot. Maybe you just go bald like right there, dude. All right. Let's do it. Let's go bald, baby. Okay, so talking back about this, the Creep Fest competition, there's this PNG of Lammy. Um, and then this right here. I was just having fun with everyone. I'm doing this because I love you. But I got disqualified, which means no more Mr. Nice Guy. This means Creep Fest galore. You made me do this. And so then we see the gravestone of Destino, Japanese Werewolf, Tranquilo, and this guy Munchin. Um, and then the artist is Thigh Crusader, like, which leads me to believe this is part of the, the uh, Thigh and uh, Diamond Crusader uh, rivalry. Um, here's the thing, chat, we don't... We don't allow like fan art that's just like of you, right? This, we're like we're making fan art of the game, so like this is the only stuff that qualifies right here, right? The other stuff was disqualified. This qualifies. That is art. You have made art there, um, Thigh Crusader. But good grief, does it give me the creeps? That's a creep fest. <laughs> I think of like um, like a theme park. Like Six Flags Creep Fest. Uh, this is from Spencer Spools of Thread. Um, this is, I believe, uh, yeah, you can actually kind of tell by the way her hair is folded on the left there. Um, drawn onto paper and then cut out, which, you know, I can relate to that. I've done a lot of this stuff. Pretty cool. 
Wait, wait, wait. Very cool. This is from Tim Larade. Larad? I like Larade for you. Um, just a sick piece. Uh, Lammy versus Rammy. I kind of like art that takes Parappa or Lammy out of 2D. You know what I mean? Like this, like they're squishing up against each other. Kind of looks nice. It's cool. Cool piece. And Rammy's sick, everybody. Rammy's such a cool character for some reason. She's just a black and white version of Lammy. But she's, I don't know, she's got an attitude. I think a different voice actor, too. Here's an, Yeah, here's another really cool piece of Lammy, not as a 2D character. I mean, like, how cool is that, right? That's a good piece. No artist attributed to this one. But yeah, it's pretty sick. Well done. Um, this is an album cover for Enter the Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers, Wu-Tang Clan. Uh, At Dogs and Shoes made this. At Dogs and Shoes, you didn't change Wu-Tang Clan, you didn't change the name of the album, you just put some Parappa faces on here. Like, Enter the, I don't know, we could come up with a pun or something, right? The, the Enter the Jet Baby Gang, you know? 36 Jet Babies? You know, the Jet Baby, Baby Clan? You know, something with Jet Baby, certainly, right? <laughs> um, this is from not Thiven. Somebody called Navid. N-A-V-Y-H-T? Navid. Don't understand it. I assume this is part of the rivalry happening with Diamond Crusader. I don't want to part in it, but, I mean, that's a pr pretty cool looking crowd right there. Okay, uh, we got some baby tips, everybody. When putting a baby in their bed, it is important to alternate which side of the baby's head rests on the pillow. We do this so the head develops evenly. Be sure to let infants play in a wide area. It may not look like they are doing much, but the limited movements baby performs is the best way for it to, ve to develop muscles. Toys like walking chairs are not recommended. This is because they hinder the child's ability to improve their balance. Any questions? <laughs> do, wait, do we... Is the artist's name on this one? Did you? There it is, John Christian Finvik. I like. I don't understand if there's cynicism to this. Like these are all genuinely good baby tips. All right. Like maybe this is just anti cynicism. Maybe we're there right now. Maybe if you were looking for baby tips, chat, you got some tonight. Who knew walking chairs were not recommended? They're just gonna give your babies bad balance, you know. <laughs> if you want to send in some art for Harry Potter tonight. Email trueart at easyallies.com. Um, look, we'll, we will allow creepy stuff, but like, don't send creepy stuff. <laughs> don't do it, chat. Um, uh, ooh, I do want to say one thing. Somebody sent like an MOV that I would have to download from like Google Drive or something like that. Don't do that. If it, if it requires more than me dragging it out and throwing it into a folder, um, don't send that. Um, so I'm sorry to that person who worked hard to make a cool MOV. Um, yeah, uh, don't send art that involves me. Don't send art that involves Box Peak. Don't send art that involves the weird rivalry between Thiva and Diamond Crusader. If that's the entirety of your piece, don't send that. Send Harry Potter art. We're just here to appreciate the games. And not just like any Harry Potter art. Harry Potter art of the PlayStation 1 version of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets because that is what we are about to play tonight. Um, let me get... Oh, we got some PNGs to plop down, don't we? Um, these are the people who will be watching us stream tonight. Boop. 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 Mm, boop. Mm, boop. There. Okay. Well, oh, it's a lot. <laughs> and like the two PNGs that were, which appeared first, couldn't get them in. Um, so yeah, there we go. And where are... There it is. There's our backdrop. 
Just a bunch of beans. Chat, do you like this? No lewd Harry Potter art. Um, Twitch is not cool with lewd art. Um, lewd stuff. It's not cool with lewd stuff. It is If it is lewd art, maybe we can have a conversation. Um, if, if it is tastefully lewd, maybe we can talk about it. Um, but don't push it, chat. <laughs> Um, okay. No, I didn't want to do beans. I got this, like, curtain chat. I kind of like this curtain. It's a little low res, but it's kind of classy. It's kind of classy. I'm going to make it a little brighter. Mm. Let's go with, like, that. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like this. It's a little, cla it's a little classy, you know? Um, oh, got to boop boop. Get my headphones on. And we're about to play a chat. Tastefully lewd. Yes. Yeah, is, is there such a thing? How would you describe yourself, Mr. Bossman? Tastefully lewd. By the way, uh, we are not using my regular office chair. It's still here. It's just the apartment at the end of a box peak cycle becomes a huge mess. And it was simply easier for me to just set up this chair here. Do you have audio? Well, I think there's no audio yet. Rockman Bionics, three months in a row. Restarted my sub because you do good work, dude. All I did was show you fan art so far. We've barely done any work so far. Here it comes, though. Are you on pre-production of episode three? No, end of production on episode two, um, which is what I mean by the end of a, a box peak cycle. Basically, it's like, this is the apartment messiness, and then once we end, I clean the apartment, you know? And then there's that day where I just like do a storyboard. That is a nice day. I got a clean apartment, I got a storyboard, and when I do the storyboard, the episode looks so simple. It's like, oh, this is it's gonna be a breeze. Um, do you know what your Hogwarts house is? I don't know, Hufflepuff probably, right? Um, let me tell you a little background before we start this. Who created Boxbeak? Me, baby. I do it all. Um, so I, like, I'm, shoot, it's probably like three years ago now, right? There was a point when I was shooting Final Bossman where I was really convinced that there's that that Harry Potter makes a good video game. And so I was searching for the perfect Harry Potter video game. Um, and so I played the first one, Sorcerer's Stone, don't say Philosophers. Um, shoot, it's gonna we're gonna watch spoilers. We're gonna have to go back. Um, uh, so that was happening. I played through that, I really liked it, but it wasn't quite like I couldn't make an episode about it. Um, I tried Chamber of Secrets on PS2. Again, really cool, really good game, but still didn't have that thing. And then what was it? Order of the Phoenix on PS3. Again, so interesting. There was, there was something there. But in the end, I just like snuck them into bonus bits. I didn't find that thing, that thing that says this is a good episode. Um, I have played this before for my cousin. My cousin was probably, well, if I was 16, so she's like nine, eight or nine, um, she couldn't get past a part. And I think it was like early on, um, like when Harry's like hanging out with uh, Ron and his family. Um, and so like I helped her get through that, but I didn't play through much of this game. Um, I like the PS1 Harry Potter games. They're just um, compact chat. They're cool. Um, so chat says I'm not Hufflepuff. Is it because I don't have enough goodness in my heart? Game audio is a little loud. I got you. I got you. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, we had it on Um Jammer Landing levels. Guess we don't need it there. Cause you ever play King's Quest 3 to air as human? Best grappling with young wizarding skills in old school gaming. Hogue, I do not like old King's Quest games. In fact, I tried the new one. I tried getting into it. Um and it just made me as mad as the other ones because what happens is kind of like in a telltale game at the end it's like here's here's a little summary and then it was like 
you didn't pick up that item. That's going to hurt you later. It's like, that is every King's Quest game. Mm? Ah, you didn't find that stupid little item. Sucks to be you. Start a new save. It's like, oh, oh. It's like part of why PC gaming is always intimidating me. Sorry, there's no subtitles at this point, chat. Can't do that for you. It wasn't, wasn't an issue back in the PS1 days. Do you prefer PS1 in general to PS2? Good question. Mm, no. No, I mean, I have a lot of better feelings for the PS1, but I, there's, PS2's got some sick games, chat. Who's your favorite Harry Potter character? Oh, uh, Snape. Didn't I get in trouble for this? I think I feel like I said that in chat once, and then, yeah, autosave's good. Chat was like, no, Snape is not as good as you think he is, Kyle. I was like, all right. Like, I just thought he was like a cool, sad, romantic guy, and they're like, no. Mm -mm. Would you like to create one? Yes. Always go with the middle slot, chat. I was comparing Snape to the boss. <laughs> I say a Harry lot of Potter's things. First year oh, here we go, Hogwarts chat. School of Witchcraft and Wizardry was very eventful indeed. Catch you up. Along with his friends, Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, Harry had managed to defeat Lord Voldemort, the greatest dark sorcerer of all time. There, Voldemort's dead. But Done. now Harry was back at number four Privet Drive. He was often locked in his room, and even though he was a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic. Then, one evening towards the end of the summer holidays, a house elf named Dobby appeared. Good narration, huh? Dobby warned Harry not to return to Hogwarts. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back, he will be in mortal danger. There is a plot, Harry Potter. A plot to make most terrible things happen. Chat, this is why Dobby audiobooks are awkward for me. After, Ron Weasley and his brothers Fred and George arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. Harry told them all about Dobby's warning. Very fishy. I reckon old Dobby was sent as someone's idea of a joke. Can you think of anyone at school with a grudge actor? against you? Draco Malfoy. Eventually, they landed at Ron's house, the burrow. Touchdown! Ron's mother, Molly Weasley, marched across the yard and came to a halt. The CG chat. Her. She didn't look pleased. Bed's empty, no note, car gone. Out of my mind with worry. It seemed to go on for hours, and Mrs. Weasley had shouted herself hoarse before she turned to Harry. Very pleased to see you, Harry, dear. Tune for ten, that's what we said. Ronald Weasley, I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over Some the Zelda stuff floor. right there, chat. It's driving Pay attention to ghoul mad. and pipes. Come on, Harry, let's go. And they did. And they did go. Setting the stage. From like, yeah, but it's just, it's weird to like, you have this, I feel like you think about the narrator, like you are, like you are imagining the things that the narrator wants you to do, to imagine. Oh yeah, look how like crunchy this looks. Look at PS1 games, everybody, man. It's like, <laughs> I don't know, it's like, Hello, Harry. oh, whoa, Welcome their to my faces. Home. It's not much. I think it's brilliant. Thanks, Harry. We call it the burrow. Come on, Harry. If the goal is locked the attic door again, we've got to try and find another way in. I see Dad has placed some crates in the garden. Why don't we use them to climb up onto the roof and then into the open attic window? Seeing you've been stuck at the Dursleys for so long, you can practice your knockback jinx on the crates. Remember, you need to press the X button to cast. Slime 15, thanks. It's like, um, 
I guess it's like it's like biting into a marshmallow and uh, there's um, there's like sand in it you know that's what ps1 graphics are like a marshmallow with sand in it uh, it reminds me of um what's eating Gilbert grape no uh, what remains of Edith Finch right getting those vibes um, chat you can't use the analog stick Try and flipendo these crates with your knockback jinx. Remember, press the X button to cast. Did you hear that British boy saying X button instead of cross button? Where are all the cross people now, huh? Are you checking out philosopher stones? Flipendo. Hmm. That's it, Harry. Now the other one. Because I heard him say X button. Flipendo. Run. Weasley, I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over the attic floor. It's driving me mad. Oh dear, Mum's really not happy and I think we should avoid her. But let's climb up onto the roof and jump in through the attic window. Watch me and then follow. To climb onto a crate, walk up to it... Chat, how weird is it that at button. this time EA is employing, like... <gasps> four different studios to make four different Harry Potter games. Isn't that nuts? Okay, your turn, Harry. Chad, I think I see a Push secret into already. Push the small crate to climb on top, and then run over the gap to auto-jump. Kyle, any hot takes on Donkey Kong Country Chocolate Free Switch having Donkey Kong playing in a, on a Switch game? Oh, I mean, they've done that many times. Ooh, secrets. So I thought I found a secret, but I just found a rooster. You think Zelda style will attack us? All I'm doing is walking into you, dude. Chat, did they have analog sticks and controls? Did I just miss it? Dang. Really? You gotta play this with the D-pad, huh? Okay. Okay. Didn't remember that. Come on, chickens. Game Boy Color version is super good. Yeah, when I was searching for the perfect Harry Potter game, a lot of people brought that up. It's like a cool RPG, right? I do intend to play it someday. I would like to check that out. All right, Harry, let's do it. Yeah, Chad, I just like, I know this looks ugly. I know it, I know it, I know it. But like, I like this environment. Something about it just registers with me. Are you media blackout for Spider-Man? No, we we're talking about that. We're gonna watch Spider-Man until E3. We're gonna see what they show at E3, and then media blackout. Um, I'll check out the Game Informer stuff eventually. I can't make that jump. Oh, all right, cutscene. Save me. We need to oh, calm man. down the ghoul. He's okay. banging and dropping pipes and he's driving mum mad. Use your directional buttons to move the chest. Try and catch 60 pipes before they land on the floor and make a terrible racket. Chad, is this right, cannon? Harry, let's get to it. Chad, do the Weasleys just have like a little like this hanging out in their attic? <laughs> Pick Jeremy says this is Vex Shen new bait. <laughs> Yeah. Vex, close your eyes. Don't look at this part. Not canon. Okay. Like, they're totally cool with it. This horrific monster is like throwing pipes upstairs, and they're just like, run, take care of it. So, oh. Right. What? Oh, you hold down. Okay, we got it. We got it now. We got it, Jack. We're good at video games. taking all your pipes, dude. You're not going to be able to cause a racket if I take your pipes.
What's the meter on the bottom? Time. Oh my goodness. This is a long challenge, chat. And hey, we don't even get a trophy for this, you know? These are the days. We're just doing stupid stuff like this for no reason. Nice work, Harry. That'll shut him up. You can play while. Spyro on PS4 Thanks or Switch. PS4. Ah, oh, that's much quieter. Now I need you boys to denome the garden for me. Denoming the garden me. is canon, He's by correct? The shed messing about with non-magical junk. God, did you see that PUBG started bringing lawsuits, going after mobile first? Oh, Hogue, I did not see this. Yeah, so you're thinking if they win that, then they might come inching a little closer to um, Fortnite. Uh, right, let's go find Dad. Uh, Taro, my favorite Spider-Man costume is the Ben Riley one. If that makes sense. Wait, it's like pretty regular, but there's like tiny changes, uh, like the the uh, webbing cartridges on the outside look sick. Um, just tiny, tiny parts of that just look really cool. Uh, Scarlet Spider? No, no. When when Ben Riley was Spider Man, he had his own kind of semi unique costume. Okay, so that was not a secret. We're just going here. Crafting. Oh, pick Jeremy. That, that sounds everywhere. fun. It drives Mum mad. Did not know that's Try a thing. That's really cool. these barrels with a fully charged knockback jinx, so we can get through the gate. Fully charged knockback jinx. So jinxes are like cantrips, basically. Like it's not a spell. It's just something that. Oh, yeah, get some beans, baby. Chat. This game's all about collecting beans and chocolate frogs. Oh, I like these insects. Okay. Got some beans, baby. I forget what we do with the beans. But it feels good to start collecting. Give them to Fred and George. Yeah, and in, in the first PlayStation 1 game, there was a really cool thing that I unlocked for uh, collecting everything. So we are going to 100% this game, for sure, because I think we're going to be rewarded. Hey, look, Ginny's over by the Puffs game patch. Why don't you go and chat to her? Puffs game. She's been a bit shy lately. I wonder why. That's my future wife, I'll right? i to see what Dad's up to. She had no idea. JK had no idea that's Harry Potter's future wife at this point. Hello, you can't Dad. convince me otherwise. Nice to meet you. I'm Ginny. I'm just looking after a past game. Making sure that Fred and George don't use it as a bludger when they play Quidditch. Guide the puffs game over to the bushes and it'll eat them, revealing every flavor of beans that you can collect. Mm. Beans can be used to buy famous witches and wizards cards from Fred and George at Hogwarts. Right. Yep, yep, yep. Chat, yeah, you're on top of if this you stuff. you guide the puffs game over to the bushes, it'll eat them, and you may be able to find a famous witches and wizards card. Whenever you get a wizard card, it is put into your folio magi. Press the select button. This will show you the folio magi and the wizard cards you've collected at that point. Okay. Right. There are two types of famous. Right. Thank you, Jenny. That's enough. Okay. Hey, bud, come eat these bushes. Oh, you horrible little thing. Yeah, I keep eating these bushes, dude. All right. Okay, game. He's getting bigger, right? I hope he doesn't get too full. Look, some of these beans are really cool looking. Well done, Harry. Here's a famous witches and wizards card. Felix Summerby. 
best find Bron, Harry. Felix Sotheby. He's gone to see Dad, I think. It's this way. Nah, I want to keep eating bushes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get to keep eating bushes. Yeah, dude. Nice. You want to look at it, chat? Felix Summerby, inventor of cheering charms. Report card. Quidditch training. Founder wizard duels. Cool defense against the dark arts and herbology. Nate. Felix Summerby, inventor of cheering charms. Chat, do you know what cheering charms are? Is that a thing? Stop like burping every time. You make me mad. Or even like doing this. How long is this game? My guess is like 20 hours. Kyle, you ever played a PC version? I think another one of my cousins had a PC version of one of the Harry Potter games. And it was sick. That's what I'm saying, Chad. Isn't it weird that there's like four different studios working on this, the same Harry Potter game? With four different takes. I mean, like, they're not on Steam or anything, though, are they? That's what bummed me out, Chad, is I have this cool Star Wars game where you build robots. Droid works. Um... I can't play it because I don't have a disk drive on my PC. Okay, I think we're good. Hello, Harry. I'm Arthur Weasley. That face, chat. I was wondering if you'd help me denome This the is Vex Shanu bait. Look at that guy. Here, but you'll need the denoming gloves to grab the gnomes. Unfortunately, <laughs> I seem to have lost them under all this junk. <laughs> Use your Wingardium Leviosa spell to charm and move the junk. Cool. Holding the X button levitates each piece of junk. Use your directional buttons to move the junk about and press the triangle button to drop it onto the rocks and break the junk up. Chad, I kind of could you charm them and I kind of like all the, the activities rocks, they're just throwing at us straight off the top of the game you know blocks. like we've actually had a lot to play so far around here somewhere so I'm sorry I can't use this spell without the gloves or are they gonna be in one of these boxes remember Harry it's just like the charms class last year better find the denome lift yeah. up the yeah 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 the gloves are gonna be in one of these boxes Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa. Yeah, you had this in the first game, too. I think I need to drop the junk higher than that if I want to break it. I get it, Harry. Wingardium I get it, bud. Wingardium Leviosa! And higher? Higher? Now. Physics. Baby. That's right, Harry. Keep going. I want to break that TV. Wingardium Leviosa! Chad, is this against the rules? That's right, Harry. Keep going. <laughs> you broke the TV. Well done. Wingardium Leviosa! It's kind of interesting to me that the wizard people are, like, totally bored with what's on TV. Well done, Harry. <gasps> nice work. You found the denoming gloves. Here they are. Like they don't like popular music or television or movies because their lives are so much more interesting. Thanks for helping Dad out, Harry. You've also learned how to charm objects. I'm sure that will come in very handy. The sooner we denome the garden, the sooner we can get some sleep. I'm exhausted. You're not supposed to use magic out of school. That's a huge plot point. Oh. Well, I mean, isn't this house like in half Magic Land? There's no, there's no threat of Muggles being around here, right? Half Magic Land. I don't know, chat. <laughs> I don't know. Time to put these denoming gloves to good use. Mum wants us to throw these gnomes over the fence and into that field of that's no magical junk. To fling a gnome, you're going to need a good run up. 
Hit the square button as quick as you can to build up speed. Yeah, this Once is the part my cousin needed fence, help with. You begin spinning on the spot. Press the triangle button when you're ready to throw the gnome. You get points for distance and for hitting the target. Yeah, Chad, I think this is hard. <laughs> Press the triangle button to fight. Okay. <laughs> okay, chat. Okay. I get it now. So, you're not supposed to pr press triangle until it tells you to press triangle. No. Dang. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get that telephone booth. They stole it from the muggles. Isn't that freaky? That's not yours. Oh, get the beehive at least. Nice, buddy. <laughs> that telephone booth chat. We need that trophy. Oh, man, bummer. I mean, that is actually really hard. <laughs> Excellent, Harry. That's your all-time highest score. That was really good fun. Do you want to play again? No, right? I'm not that stubborn, chat. But, like, something has to happen when you hit that telephone booth, you know? No. What if you get a secret for hitting it? Oh, no. Yeah, the PS2 game is actually really cool too. Then I Hello think about there. it. Fancy a wizard jewel? A wizard jewel? Don't tell me you've never taken part in a wizard. Kind of roam around the you've area. You've got a lot to learn, Harry. Of is Hogwarts. this safe? Of course it's safe. Uh, well, mostly. With the broom and everything, it's crazy. Good self-control. I'm learning it, chat. I'm learning. Dueling. <laughs> These faces. Chat, okay. do you think... Dueling is really simple. All you have to do is try and hit your opponent with the knockback jinx. All right. Every time you hit your opponent, you get closer to disarming him. And don't forget, fully charged knockback jinxes can be cast by holding the X button down and then releasing it. X but button? But don't worry, Harry. Fred will go easy on you this time. Okay? Do you think Let's when they duel. saw how the character models look in-game... Get ready! Jewel! Do you think they were disappointed oh, or they were like, oh, this good this afternoon. Afternoon. Fred Weasley's a master tactician. What? What is this? Chat, what? It's like not worth it to charge up. Nice work from Potter. For a beginner, he's doing really well. What's the point of this? It's not worth it. This is a dumb system. Now, what's up, dude? Yes, we got him. We got him. Oh, round two. Okay. Jewel. And the jewel gets underway. Fred getting quickly into his rhythm. 
Ape escape has good faces? Yeah, it does. They exist. Well done, Harry. Now let's try again. But this time we'll introduce some special jinxes. Ooh, good no idea, talking. Fred. See that TV? See the way it's sparkling? Mm -hmm. That means it's got a special jinx in it. To get the special jinx, you have to force me to hit the TV with one of my jinxes. That will release an orb that you can run over and pick up. Anything that sparkles like the TV has got a special jinx in it. So remember to look out for the sparkles. Oh, I nearly forgot. Special jinxes can only be cast using the circle button. That's important. Come on, let's give it a try. Get ready! So what, Two. I just hide behind the TV, right? Ah. Yeah. Press the circle button to cast that special jinx! Ah. Beautiful play by Weasley. Great work there. Can't say that was worth it, Chad. Oh my word! That's real skill from the youngster. Uh, come on, Harry, you can do it! Uh, I hate you, dude. I hate you. Uh, ow. I hate you. Uh, Damn. Oh no, I hit the pole. Trick me. That's terrific. Stuff. How's it feel, dude? Wait, he gets to keep his. Nah, dude. Oh, that's lovely. Why did he die? Well there we go. Done, Harry. You won the first round. <sighs> Get ready, Jewel. Nice work from Potter. For a beginner, he's doing really well. Thank you. This dude. Oh. Great play by Potter. He's really holding his own. Dude, dang, I thought I had that. Ow, ooh, yeah, get your special. Come get it. Get your special. Nice. Yeah. Expelliarmus! There's some strategy here, Chad. I just haven't nailed it down yet. I don't know quite what I'm supposed to do. Wow, look at that. You're a natural, Harry. It's a very quiet game. You want me to turn it up? Or are you just saying that, like, naturally? Not a lot of music going on. No, that's quite fine. Quite all right. Harry Potter universe is set in the early 80s and 90s? 80s and early 90s? Is that true? We need to find Ginny. She's wandered off somewhere, and the whole family is waiting so we can go to Diagon Alley and get our school supplies. We better split up and find her. Oh, by the way, watch out for some of Dad's junk. If you come across any, use your knockback jinx or you'll win Guardian Leviosa to defend yourself. Okay. If you find you're getting a little low on health, 91 97. chocolate Interesting. box will help replenish your energy. So keep an eye out for them. Right, let's split up. I'll go this way. See you soon, Harry. And good luck! See you, Ron. It's cold. The woods. Ah, we're just following along the way. Uh, Chad, I'm already lost. Chat, extremely lost. Take this, bees. Oh, okay. Can't shoot the bees, chat.
You think I should just go through it? Okay, I will. Let's go see what that beehive is all about. You can hit the hive, okay. All right, chat, you've been right so far. Super lost again, though. All right, this just goes around, right? This loops around? Okay, all right, we got that at least. And this is where the bees are. Okay. All right. We're kind of getting the forest chat. Wait, so did we fully explore that area? Did I not miss anything? Chat, you feeling confident I can hit the bees? chat. Okay. Alright. Next chat. We didn't miss anything. Ooh. Lock on. Oh, this is a game changer. Why are you teaching me this earlier? This rules. There we go. Okay. There we go, Chatteroonie. And uh, to get these banes, let's kill these guys first. Ooh, triangle button to look around. Ooh, you know I like this. Now we're talking. For some dumb reason, it's inverted. Some commotion. Just some Friday night. Oop. Alright. Okay. Commotion. Um JKG, Q. Honestly, I don't think we're gonna need any cheats for Harry Potter. I think we're gonna have a pretty breezy run through. But who knows? There could be some goblins or something. So it's good to know we have that in our back pocket. Yeah, we know how to get beans. Yeah, Can I charm a rock? Oh, I can. Cool. Stop burping, dude. He did that in the last game. Too. Every frog you pick up and just like a little burp noise. Because kids love burps. Did I take fall damage? I didn't even realize, chat. Like, this is cool, right? We're just like doing magic spells and stuff in the woods. Cool game. Thanks for hanging in, Hogue. Ooh. He dodged my shot. 
No, Harry, not this. No. Kill this guy. No, Harry. No. Harry. I think I can, like, drop it on the armor. No. I can try. No, Harry. It's because I'm hitting the lock-on button, chat. I should stop this. It, like, won't let me put it in the path of the lawnmower. I'm trying. I'm trying. It won't let me. No. Hit that thing. <laughs> he does, like, sidearm it in a weird animation. Okay. All right. Now I want you to pick it up, bud. Whoa, so many beans? Why? What do we do to deserve all these beans? I mean, I'm not complaining. Love jelly beans. Okay. Sorry. They both look the same, but I'm guessing this is the exit. Crossing my fingers. Poke beans. Yeah, poke beans are so dumb, chat. They're just so dumb. Man, they're dumb. Man, it's gonna show me my wizard card number every time I enter a room. No. Not gonna burp on you. Dream funeral two months in a row. Love a two month. Alright, so. It's really like, um. There's a pattern to the way they move. That's how you defeat the bees. Okay. on top of it to me. If you have over 500 beans, JKG, stop that, all right? You're getting to spoil it. We're going to get 500 beans. We don't need to know what we get for it. We want to keep those. Those are cool secrets. Oh, this is the cool thing I get for this, you know? Flip <laughs> Um, what is the logic behind that breaking that lock? It's all magic, baby. That's a magic lock. Harry Potter gets away with a lot of stuff like that. No other secrets in the game. So JKGQ, you told me the one secret in the whole game. That was the one thing we were looking forward to. Now we know. Ooh, that's a new color of bean. Banana bean. I like it. Yeah, that tra um, laundry machine, like, did a lot of damage to me. Uh, Jonah, 97, two months in a row. one bridge chat look at the work they had to go through to create water <laughs> you know they worked really hard on this oh can I fall in let's see no you cannot um is Zazel Valkyrie 25 months and a new sub from Warcorp Warp Corp 
Uh, using Twitch Prime. Yeah, chat, we're trying to remind people a lot more now. If you have Amazon Prime, you get a free Twitch Prime sub. You can sub to Easy Allies for a month uh, for free, and then like every other month will also be free. But you have to manually resub, which is difficult to remember, which is why we're trying to do that more now. Are the, are the puzzles getting dumber? That seemed like a dumb puzzle. Maybe it's to make you feel smarter as you progress through the area. Jay Haddock just subscribed with Twitch Prime. See that? It's that simple. Yeah, it's cool, you know, that like when it explodes, you see a gear and some parts sticking out. Ooh, I'm gonna knock that tree over, chat. Star Wars. Physics. Okay, um. This seems like the right way to go, right? Yeah, so let's go see what the bees were protecting. Uh -huh. We're protecting bees. It's just three bees. What are you protecting? Optional boss for the chat. Nintendo! 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 So, chat, in like Nintendo! Harry Potter worlds, Flipendo is just like Nintendo! a spell that like hurts. Do they just do it a lot? Wingardium Leviosa! Beans, baby. Beans. Wingardium Leviosa! Okay, alright. It's not actually that popular. Okay. So it sounds like, the, you know, they're just making a game and they're like, well, we need something. Flipendo sounds close enough to like an attack spell. Chat. I love stuff like what we just did there. In any game. You know, we found the correct path and then we're like, I wonder what's this way. And it was a boss fight that was actually easier than when he was closer. Um, but then we were, we were rewarded with a bunch of beans. And I also like chat. We instinctively knocked this tree over, right? You could see the seam, but it wasn't like, Harry, why don't you try using Flipendo on a tree and see what happens? Before we even got to try, you know? Stupefy is their preferred attack spell. Oh, there you go, boy. Why is it hollow? Jelly beans galore. You're right, chat. Yeah, let's see what these bees are protecting. What are you protecting, bees? Ooh, a card. Even better. We gotta solve this puzzle. No, no, no. Harry, Harry, Harry. Yeah, Chad, this is fun, dudes. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not using half of my brain cells. Why would he make it go more, you know? I think we're, I, we're using 2% of our brain. But I dig it. You want to see that card, Chad? Felix Summerby, inventor of cheering... Hengist of Woodcroft founded the village of Hogsmeade. Is that good, chat? Is that good? Did JK write all the, um, did she write all the lore? Did she write all these names? Felix Summer Hengist of Woodcroft. For me, that would take one year. I would spend one year writing these silly names and then start writing.
Is Hengus Hogsmeade cool? That's a good card? Cool. <laughs> Chat's oh, pumped on the hogs me. Thank goodness you came. My puff skin swallowed my remembral, and I got lost trying to find him. Remember a us. remembral tells you that there's something you've forgotten to do. You can have it, Harry. I don't have my wand on me now, so use your knockback jinx on the puff skin, and he'll spit it out. Okay. 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 Spit it out. Oops, sorry, Jenny. <laughs> A little squish in the background the whole time. Jenny, there you are. Nice work, Harry. Hope Dad's junk wasn't too much of a problem for you. Right, we better get back to the house. Mum and Dad are waiting to take us to Diagon Alley. I thought it was Diagon Alley. The way he says it, like, the pun's, like, right on the nose, huh? We're going to diagonally. As you've never traveled by flu powder before, you need to know Flu powder, things. baby. When you're in the fireplace, say Toss me in the going. flames. And keep your elbows tucked in. Mind you get out at the right fireplace. Are you sure this is safe? Piece of cake! Dragon <coughs> Alley! Uh, Minigame? Oh heck yeah, beans, baby. Why would I go faster? Oh, okay. Damiani was just playing this. Do you think there's a Mario 64-esque shortcut? Speedrunners, let me know. Ooh. Now we'll find out. Okay. All right. Oh, you just go again, huh? Okay. All right, game. You must really think this is fun, huh? I gotta say, the uh, Mario game that preceded this one by five years uh, controls a little better. It's me tapping left and right on the D-pad here. <laughs> Though I do like hearing Harry, like, scream. <laughs> And like slam onto the hard wood, sorry, hard stone. Oh, I see, There's, those are fireballs. Don't mind the flames, Harry. Not even mad that's just very funny <laughs> all right so we're gonna die there's no way i'm getting through that whole part without getting hit by a fireball <laughs> oh my goodness they worked hard on that sound effect Fireballs exist for like five frames. Yeah, there's just no way to dodge that. Um, oh, okay, he goes, he's sick. He got hurt. A Slytherin behavior, yeah, you know it. As I tried. Never traveled by flu powder before. Oh, I have. When you're in the fireplace, and keep your elbows tucked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mind you get out at the right fire. Okay. Are you 
piece of cake. Uh, White Winter Sage used your Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So I found out that, like, you can make him go straight. So at least we have that. So you don't actually have to mash left and right on the D-pad. <laughs> he hit his head there for sure, right? child abuse no it's us that's we're Harry that's us Harry had no idea where he was oh, okay. all he could tell was that he wasn't in Diagon Alley evil looking nice. masks stared down from the wall and rusty spiked instruments hung from the ceiling the sooner I get out of here the better Harry heard a noise from the door nearby. Begin the mystery. And two blurry shapes appeared on the other side of the glass. KB Holmes, Harry just use your Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, KB. Black cabinet. He shot inside it and pulled the doors closed, leaving a small crack to peer through. Seconds later, a bell clanged. And Draco Malfoy stepped into the shop. Uh -uh. The man who was with Draco could only be his father, Lucius Malfoy. Touch nothing, Draco. Mr. Malfoy was trying to sell the shopkeeper certain dark magical items that he didn't want the Ministry of Magic to find out about. Mm. Harry went to Flourish and Blotts to buy his books. While he was in there, Gilderoy That's Lockhart, it? Hogwarts' new defense against the dark arts teacher, was signing his latest book. Nice big nah, smile, that's a bad Harry. guy. Together you and I were the front page. The new teacher is always a bad Harry guy. Harry met up with Ron and Ginny Weasley. Lucius and Draco Malfoy were also there. Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. Ginny, who was very fond of Harry, defended him. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Lucius Malfoy insulted the scruffy state of the second-hand books Ginny had bought. I suppose those books are the best your father can give you. Lucius plucked a copy of A Beginner's Guide to Transformation from Ginny's Cauldron, examined it briefly, and then replaced it. No one at that time realized how much of an effect this gesture from Lucius Malfoy would have on their lives, and they all left the shop none the wiser. That's some good narration. They found the car in fingers. Road, and after making it invisible, flew it into the sky over London. Oh, we got a Whomping Willow the Hogwarts coming up. Far below and followed it for some time. It, like, didn't explain why we stole that car, right? We just did it? We just stole the car? Looks like we've lost the train. Let's check out that tunnel. They were late for the train. Look okay. Like found the train wrong. And they had no choice. Try not to scratch the paintwork or my dad will kill me. Chad, this is a big budget PS1 game. Pick up the speed boost to stay ahead of the train. And watch out for any obstacles. Rozelle, he's back. Okay. Speed boost. Sick. Yeah. This is awesome, Chad. Feel the budget. Oh. Okay. All right. You're not playing around. I'm sorry, Ron. Uh oh. 
alternate paths. I feel like we could have lost the train there, right? If we just hit the brakes. Car is mostly dead, chat. We must be near the end of these tunnels. Was he controlling it with the steering wheel? Does that make sense, chat? Almost there, Harry. Collect the pickups to repair some of the damage the car has taken. I didn't want more of this, that's for sure. I was I was content with that much. That was a good amount of this. I just feel like I'm going the wrong way. Dang, this is cool though. We need a pickup, Ron. We need a pickup. Ah. Ron, we need a pickup. Ron, where are the pickups? Do you see one? The D-pad chat. The D-pad right now. There. Yes. There it is, baby. A little late. A little late. That was a good you died screen. That was nice, actually. I like it. I thought like we just made it to the cutscene. It's like no, no, no. You died. Like we didn't die though. We just you know got to school late. But that would have set Harry off on this path where he never becomes the hero. Sorry, Ron. I tried, bud. I actually think it doesn't do damage to grind on the walls when I totally thought it did. Game theory, here we go. Okay, it just slows you down. Got it. I'm ready for it this time. Oops, I'm just not ready for it. There it is. Got it, baby. Excellent. Yes, chat. Yes. Yes. What if we didn't get that chat? Felix Somerby, Hengist of Woodcroft, founded the village of Felix Dorcas Wellbeloved, founder of the Society for Distressed Witches. Is that good? Uh, M's 11, thanks for the resub. Is that a good one, chat? Hengist Dorcas Wellbeloved, founder of the Society for Distressed Witches. Sorry, I had to check it out. <laughs> I had to check it out. Okay. Dorcas is pretty common. Okay. I almost had a heart attack there. Oh, it's Bullfroggy's favorite witch. Cool. Alright. 
Let's fight yeah. a Whomping Willow already. That was really close. I didn't think we'd make it out of the tunnel. Excellent, Harry. <laughs> There's Hogwarts. Try and land the car. It's a good shot, around. actually. There's something wrong with the car. I don't have control anymore. Chat is Buckbeak like a baby right now. Mind that tree. Uh, yeah, that's a Whomping Willow. Kyle, are you aware of the amazing Harry Potter and the Methods of Rationality book? No. What is it? Get out. Harry, you need to get close to the tree and cast a spell at what looks like his mouth. And what looks like his mouth? Just say his mouth, that's okay. We get it. Ooh, actually, chat. I love the low frame rate on his animations. It makes him look like, um... Like a dinosaur in an old movie, you know what I mean? Like stop motion animation. Okay, so you just. Oh, okay, train. Yeah, I get it. Alright, Ron. You're the one who's just hanging out in the car. This is a sick boss fight. Yeah, I think here we just dodge. He's not gonna crack that mouth open. Classic boss. Just open your mouth when you do this part. I'm not gonna be able to hit you anyway. Shoot it in the mouth, Harry. Depend on if that tree just kept his mouth shut, he would have killed us both. You know. I think they were super proud of that transition. Had escaped from the Whomping Willow, the sorting ceremony had already begun. They peered in at the Great Hall and watched as the aged old sorting hat placed new students into the four Hogwarts houses, as it had for so many years past. Harry remembered putting the sorting hat on a year ago, and Faint for a few face, huh? seconds he had feared the hat was going to put him into Slytherin, along with Draco Malfoy. Oh, please, Harry. Not Slytherin, eh? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor. But of course, he had ended tribalism up in along with Ron and Hermione. Like, would it have As really that been that bad? Thing, They're all students, you know. It's all kids, dude. Missing from the staff table. Hang on, where's Snape? And then, from behind him, came the voice Harry dreaded to hear. It was Professor Snape. Harry's least favorite teacher. It's my favorite. I'm waiting to hear why you two I haven't been to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I'm down. Just haven't been. It was a great start to the term, thought Harry, as they followed Snape to his office. Once there, Snape nastily admonished them about flying the car to Hogwarts. You will go immediately. To Character model is one of my least favorite things. Think about where they put the eyeballs you. too high on the head. It's like stop that. The long face makes him villainous. Zodak, 17 months in a row. Yes, chat. We're in Hogwarts, baby. Good music, huh? The game's got good music. Really good vibes created here. Yeah. Can you believe our luck? Fred and George must have flown that car five or six times, and they never had an accident. I really thought we'd get expelled for sure. Come on, Ron. Let's go to the Gryffindor common room. Do you think you can remember the way? No problem. Follow me. Okay. Uh, D Mac a gamer. 19 months in a row. Thank you. So, chat, uh, do they get in trouble for wrecking that car? Give me the cannon on that. Do they really just get away with that? Cool. They should be moving, but that's fine. It's fine that they don't. We accept it. A lot of dupes. 
A lot of dupes, Hogwarts. Okay. Water under the bridge. Ron's mom gets mad. She sends him a howler. Chat, you gotta tell me what a howler at is. Oh, so it's like a letter that yells at you? I mean, what would you do if, like, your kid and his friend wrecked your car in real life, you know? You would yell at them, but, like, would you pull them out of school? Oh, dang. I have seen the movies. I think I've seen every single one, chat. But I don't think I've seen any of them more than once. Okay, come on, man. Does Kyle Bossman creating Box Peak exist in the Final Bossman lore? No, Final Bossman lore concluded with everybody turning into lizards. Nice. So I guess you can kind of actually like pull back when you're jumping. Harry Potter mustn't stay at Hogwarts. Stop it, Dobby. <laughs> Just let me live. <laughs> Just got hit by an axe, dude. How many movies are there? Nine? That's my guess. Ron's dad gets in trouble with the ministry uh, as the car, which was jinxed to fly, was illegal in the first place. Ooh. Consequences. Good. Eight movies. Okay. No chat, nine because of beasts. Please. You call yourselves fans? You even seen beasts, chat? <laughs> yes, it does count. It's a Harry Potter movie. Wow! Harry Potter! It's really you! I'm Colin Creevy. I'm in Gryffindor too. Look at his Would camera. Be right if I took your picture? Technology. Everyone told me about how you survived when you know who tried to kill you. And you really do have that lightning scar on your forehead. It's brilliant here, isn't it? Do you think um they took the character model from the last game and like right? like increased it by an inch? Oh, nice. Good dodge, Harry. Anything behind those, Harry? Ah. Flying a car right into <laughs> the Whomping Willow? People will be talking about that one for years. Brilliant! What an entrance! <laughs> I think they'd be better off not animating the mouths. We'd better it get just to looks the like... before Snape sees us. There's something to this. God. Something going on here. No, okay. Oops. Felix I feel like Summerby, this correlates. Of Chip Dorcas, well beloved. To something on our. No, I guess not. Okay. I, but I do. I think we're gonna like. I think we're gonna fill in these house things. Great hall. Yeah, let's go in there. Forget what Ron wants. This is cool. Yeah, I think there's something kind of charming to the PS1 version of this room, you know? Like, this room was definitely in all of the Harry Potter games that I played. Um, it is strange to hear voices without seeing the people. But uh, they're implied. Implied people chat. Harry Potter Studio currently called Port Key Studios that's making a console game. What do you think they will make? 
Um, uh, you'll make your own character and you'll go out on missions with your friends. Uh, your house will basically be your clan, and so each character you make uh, can only belong to one house. Oh yeah, and this, they actually do keep track of the house points, I think, throughout the game, and it's reflected here. Cool, right? It's a cool room. They're working hard on this PS1 game. Though, I mean, this is a copy and paste from the last game, I think. Sit on the chair? Okay, alright. I don't think we can, but I'll try. Yeah. Sorry, that's Dumbledore's chair. You don't get to play around with that thing. Do you still think Rocksteady is making a Harry Potter game? Not after Ebo Show told me that there's a whole studio making a Harry Potter game. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know what Rocksteady's making. The Wizard of Oz. They're making The Wizard of Oz. That was fun. You got some beans? Got to check out an environment? Let's see where this cat came around. Oh, the dungeons. Cool. Oh, this is where we came from. Okay. Got it. Makes sense. All right. All right, Ron. We'll catch up. See, chat, like, I feel like even that's... Am I crazy? Is this kind of rare for a PS1 game? I mean, I'm sure Metal Gear Solid did it. Um, different sound effects for... Uh, the carpet as opposed to the stone. It's cool. If it's Batman Beyond, I'm fine with it. Me too, but like it won't be, you know? It's gonna have Superman in it. When Superman shows up, Chad, I'm not gonna be excited. Now that is a secret bookcase. <laughs> Gotta get that banana bean. Nice. We're good at beans, chat. Huh? Alright. That's cool. Taking pictures of pictures, baby. Does that pay off later? It does, right? That pays off. Look, there's Lockhart's office. I'm surprised he can get his big head through the door. Dang. DC Superman comic is currently one of the most popular out there. Is that true? What's going on in that? Oh, that's so cool. You can hear kids playing outside. Isn't that cool? Yeah, you know, like you don't plant you don't plant a kid with a camera this early on in the story unless you intend to do something with them. It's clever. It's good stuff. I'll kill you, bats. Oh, they're owls. Okay. All right. Sorry, owls. Password? Uh, pig snout? Caput Draconis? I'm sorry, but that is not the password. Oh, no! We don't know the password for the pink lady's portrait. Now we won't be able to get in. All right, Harry. <laughs> Come on. Ron. You were here to see if another Gryffindor passes by. I'll find Hermione. <laughs> She'll know the password. <laughs> Very dramatic, bud. Um, that is cool. Like, so in that big multiplayer Harry Potter game, 
like that the fact that like you have to know the password that's gonna be so fun uh sight yangung uh five months in a row thank you oh yeah we need it i'll gladly burp i need the health dudes all right so i ignored the first door i feel like that was the right impulse right It's like uh, the C4 walls in Metal Gear Solid, you know? It's like, uh, okay. Still trying to get my, used to my L2s and R2s. Is there any chance Ghost of Tsushima isn't cross-platform? Oh, good question. Mmm... I think there's a chance, but I do think when the PS... Ooh, okay, so we went the right way. Dang. I think when the PS5 launches, um, Ghost of Tsushima will be playable on it. You know what I mean? There will be a... I'm sorry, chat. I forgot where I'm going. Learn password to enter common room. From where? From where? V Smoke one Use your Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. Two dungeons. No, that's where it came from. Do I have to do another lap? Find Hermione. Yeah, where is she? He didn't say. He just said find Hermione. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking I was supposed to go to that first door that I found. And so I think we got to do another lap. Which is fine. We like Hogwarts. Nighthawk. Twitch. Using that Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. Yeah, chat, what's kind of cool is, um, playing checkers? Come on. Um, you only get one free Twitch Prime sub with Amazon Prime. So, like, when somebody uses it on us, it's, like, pretty nice. You know, it's like, that was their one. Feels good. Thank you, everybody. How far into the game? Oh, we're, like, an hour in, right? We're not very far at all. Do you see there's a Gundam model building anime where they battle their models in VR afterwards? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And chat said it's pretty good. Chat said it wasn't bad. Isn't it chess? It was flat. That was flat chess. Chat. Chat. I remembered the strangest thing. I gotta tell you this. I remember I'm in high school, we're visiting a college, and uh, we're like, I remember very few things about it. There's like a science lab, and uh, I remember um, it was like there was a, a sign on the door with Stewie from Family Guy on it and said like, turn off the lights, you fools. Uh, for if you leave, like if you're leaving the lab, turn off the lights, you fools. And I thought that was so funny and cool because at that time, like Family Guy was like cutting edge. And so the idea of a Stewie meme was hilarious. And so I had a lot of respect for this college. But I remember um, I remember going into this room. This guy was doing a presentation. It wasn't about like it wasn't quite VR, but he's like VR is the future. Um, and so he had like, he had like 3D projection. And so we were in this room where like it was kind of curved. And so he was projecting like a 3D realm onto it. And so like, I think, it, you know, it's like some sort of like uh, programming computer design thing. And he's like, let me show you chess. And so like he gets into this world and it's like a huge chess board, right? With like really tall chess pieces. And he's just like, this is completely, this is a completely rendered world. <laughs> we worked very hard on this. And like, it's got a, like a sky box and everything, but he's like, but now let me walk over this way. And this is where it gets blurry chat. Is he like walked away from the chess board and like up this walkway and then like up like, into this whole other area that was like looking down in the sky and then there was like 
oh, it feels like a dream now. He like kept going through like corridors and finding weird secrets. And so like they were making this chess game, but like it had like weird environmental things where you could like go off and like go off on a weird little video game journey. Um, and like, I want to, I want to make that game, you know, where you're just starting off playing chess and then like, you're like, I'm going to go. And then like, there's a whole video game behind you. You sure this wasn't a dream? That was real. Cause I definitely remember the Stewie thing. <laughs> I definitely remember that. Yeah. I think we got to go back to that first door. Damiani hates family guy. Next time you see him, you should talk about how much you like it. Well, I, I mean, High school Kyle loved it, but uh, current day Kyle does not love Family Guy. Like, what do you think happened to that guy in his weird 3D projection room, you know? I assume they just kept adding weird stuff to their 3D chess game and, like, nobody cared. <laughs> it could be the coolest game in the world and no one will ever play it, you know? Isn't that freaky? Okay, all right. Here we go. This door. Sorry, chat. Frog Fractions. Yep. His name is Elon Musk. <laughs> How old is current day, Kyle? 32. Yeah, so that was basically half my age, right? Hello there, young Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, I like the ghosts. These are cool. You look happy, Nick. That I am, Harry. I sent a letter today to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore. It's my application to join the Headless Hunt. In fact, as I was telling your friend Hermione Granger, joining the Headless Hunt has been a dream of mine for some time. Is Hermione here? Of course. Be careful, though. There are some rather mischievous books around. Use your knockback jinx to put them in their place. Hmm. Chat. The books are why I stopped playing the PS2 Harry Potter game. I remember now. There was like some dumb library thing. And uh, I stopped playing it because of flying books. This seems good. Oh, it's just a bunch of beans. Nice. Um, chat, tell me about Harry Potter and the afterlife. Budget John Cleese, yeah. I think he did a good job. Um, Because, like, it seems, like, good to be a ghost. It seems like I would prefer being a, being a ghost to heaven or hell. Do you know what I mean? Like, that guy just gets to, like, live on and do cool stuff in the afterlife? Ghosts are people who can't let go. It seems good to be a ghost. It seems like I would intentionally not let go. Hoovian. Tier 1 sub. Thank you, Hoovian. You can choose to go beyond or stay trapped as a ghost. And do they like do they specify what beyond means in the in the Harry Potter realm? Is it like the same? Does Harry Potter have religion, you know? Staying as a ghost is uncommon. Okay. There's a lot of ghosts in Hogwarts. Just like in real life, it's a mystery. Yeah, but like ghostliness is guaranteed. Bat Viking in says there, there is a clear heaven in Harry Potter. Cool. I mean, there's a clear heaven in um, Lord of the Rings, right? Is there really? Is there like a Lord of the Rings type thing in Harry Potter? Where they, they just like show up in a gold world? Okay, we have a debate that whether it's clear or not. I like this chat. One of my favorite things to do while Twitch streaming is to like talk about religion. Ooh, I got 10 Gryffindor points for destroying that book. <laughs> it's a murky heaven. Ooh. A murky heaven, chat. That sounds cool. <laughs> I 
Um, I think if you ask JK Rowling, she would say like, by the way, Rowling or Rowling? Uh, she would say like, I intentionally did not dig deep into that. You know what I mean? I didn't want to alienate anyone. Is what I would guess she would say. JK Scorsese, okay. <laughs> Alright, book. Okay, book. Gotcha, book. There's Hermione. Yeah, yeah. Gotta get your beans before you talk to her. Don't just go straight to Hermione in any game, you know? That's one rule of all for all video games. Never go straight to Hermione. So yeah, I mean, it's crazy to me how different this library is from the PS2 library. It's nuts, chat. I think I told you this story before in that uh, there's a chess mini game in the PS2 uh, library. And I just, I went online and used the chess AI to tell me what moves to play. Um, and I beat like the game, the computer on the highest difficulty. I can't believe that you like I had my computer so open and was like, okay, could have been killed there to there. Worse, expelled. Expelled. The, for the pink lady is Wattlebird. Wattlebird. Of course, you would have known this if you'd managed to get to school on time. Harry, don't forget to keep checking your report card. Talk to. If I were you, I'd go to the common room before Snape sees you. What are you? What are you doing? If I were you, I'd go to the common room. And by the way, we like Snape. Oh, this is interesting. Bukuma says that even in Hogwarts, they celebrate Easter. Really? Man, that complicates things. So it's like, when did magic start? Oh, JK, why even bring Easter into this? Chat, is there a year that magic started? And is it before or after Jesus? <laughs> and was Jesus magic? Jesus was a wizard? Chad, are you just like saying that or is this like real? Okay. Jesus was a Hufflepuff. <laughs> okay. All right, JK. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's her choice, right? It's her world. We're just reading it. Oh, that fall damage. Harry, Worth we really it. need to get into the common room. Okay. Uh, I already forgot it. Wufflebird? Wuddlebird? Mm. We gotta go back to Hermione. Password? Wattlebird! Wattlebird. Uh, that actually looked good, I think, actually. That um, animation of the painting. Looks like this year they're awarding house cups for excellence in herbology and defense against the dark arts. Nice. It would be great if Gryffindor won them. Come on, you two. So now we just have ghost trophies until we work at it? Alright. You don't want to be late <laughs> for that, too. I forgot how much I missed her. Come on, Harry. <laughs> have you heard about the secret founder jewels yet? No. Behind us is a statue. You can use it to find the entrances to the secret founder duels. Defeat each founder house duelist to win a Hogwarts founder famous witches and wizards card. Ooh, I want that. Collect them all, and you can enter the special founder's tower. No one we know has ever managed to beat all the founder duelists and enter the founder's tower. That sounds awesome. We'd really like to know what's inside. Chad, is that That's in the book? That's where you come in, Harry. 
We think you have the potential to defeat every duelist and win all the Founders' Wizards cards. To open up each of the duels, you have to have a certain number of famous witches and wizards cards. Everyone knows that finding famous witches and wizards cards can be very difficult. So, we're willing to sell you five of them, Harry. It's a good deal. Give us 50 Bertie Bots every flavor beans, and we'll give you a famous witches and wizards card in return. Nice. Brilliant. You have 50 every Fog flavor bound beans. Fogbound hero. Have a famous witches and wizards card. Wait. Ignatia Wildsmith. I wanted to keep those beans. So chat, do we want to keep the beans to get that cool secret? Or are they unrelated? I'm selling my beans, chat. Beans are cheap. Use door. Ooh. Kyle, you need to stream Duelists of the Roses, Yu-Gi-Oh. Nick Plessis should stream that. Does Nick Plessis stream? What did I get myself into? Cool. Chat, where are we? I don't have that spell yet. Which is funny, because like it just means that he forgot it since last year. He just forgot all his spells. Bottom of the well vibes. Yeah, that's that's what's so cool about Hogwarts chat. It's the big magic castle. Will you talk to me? In order for me yeah, to nice. get you, you are going to have to bring me five famous witches and wizard cards. Mmm, chat. Well, well, well. A Gryffindor student wants a duel. Nice. We get this now. You're wasting your time talking to me. Especially seeing that you don't have 20 famous... Yeah, actually, I like how these guys are animated. You want to duel the Ravenclaw champion? Well... Okay, all right. So how many do we have now? I think we should just buy some from the Weasleys. Ignatia Wall. Yeah, let's buy some cards. What a cool optional quest. I love stuff like this, chat. So what I mean by like compact, you know why I like the PS1 games is like it's just enough side stuff. You know, like I don't have to like play chess with anybody, you know? Um it's like just the right amount of like side story, side game. I like that kind of thing. Okay, Weasleys. Brilliant! You have fifty every flavor beans. Mm -hmm. Have a famous Greta catch love. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. You have fi Chauncey Aldridge. Brilliant. You have 50 every fa Popo the Fowl. Popo the Fowl? I gotta see this Popo. Ignatia Wildsmith. Ooh, that's a new the one. Witcher invented flu powder. Good job. Felix Summerbit. Greta catch love. Mm. Author of Charm Your Own Cheese. Please. It's a joke Dorcas one. Dorcas Wellbeloved. Chauncey Aldridge. Ooh, I like Chauncey. First known victim of dragon pox. That's what he's famous for? Is dying from dragon pox? Herpo the Fowl. Herpo. First known creator of the Basilisk. Whoa. See, this guy's serious. That's a good card. Hengist of Woodcroft. Cool. Found Zoom in on Weasley faces? Okay, let's see what we can do. Uh, uh, uh. Chat, do you like this? You like that? Hmm? Chat, do you like this? <laughs> they tried, they tried to make a polygon for the nose and that's it, you know, just like. <laughs> All right. Hey, you asked for a chat, Namekian post boy. Is that a resub or a new sub? Four months. I don't think I've gotten to say that name before, though. 
I like that. Namekian post boy. The blinking animations are good, yeah. It makes him feel lifelike. Okay. Let's have ourselves a dual chat. Got 75% health. She was the one who wants five, right? Good luck, young Gryffindor. Yeah. <laughs> Duel. Time. To. to. Dueling turrets? Excuse me. It's like tower defense. Let's do it. No, it's just another duel. So you have found me, the Hufflepuff wizard dueling champion. There's no way I'm going to let a Gryffindor student beat me. Come on, let's duel. <laughs> Get ready. Duel. And the match oh. gets underway with both players quick into their stride. Oh. Ah. I did not hit that plant. Ow. Yeah, give me something. You fell for my trick. Oh. Stop it. Oh. Well, look at that. The champion really showing his class there. He wants to use his green so bad. I'm not gonna let you, dude. I just, I guess I wish you could aim, you know? That's lovely. Ow. Right ah. oh, and that's you really have to just rely on the lock on. Potter. Avada Kedavra, yeah, let's, let's do it. Get ready. Jewel. And round this. two gets underway. Hufflepuff scum. Ah. Oh, please. Oh, Potter's going to have to do better than that. Oh. How does it work? You want to use your green? You want to use that? You want to use your green? Oh, he's got a lot of specials. Well, look at that. The champion really showing his class there. <laughs> These sunflowers. Chat. Expelliarmus. Ah. Whoa. Good shot. Blimey, Harry, you won. And look what you've done to my wand. Poof. Here, have this famous witches and wizards card. You deserve it. He's charmed. Helga Hufflepuff. Helga Hufflepuff seems like a big deal, chat. Hey, Bossman, are there any plans to have other allies DM their own D&D campaign? I think Ian would be the only one qualified to do it. But there are no plans. Congratulations, young man. Quite a feat, let me assure you, beating the Hufflepuff dueling champion. He wasn't that good. Ignatia, what? Felix, Gret, Dorka, Helga, Chauncey, Helga, Hufflepuff. Ooh, Hogwarts holographic. Founder gave her name to a Hogwarts house. Is there lore about her, chat? Doesn't Jones DM his own stuff? I don't think he does. Every time he talks about it, it sounds like someone else is DMing his stories. Why hasn't Ben been on Fiasco Knots? Good question. He has been. There's been no Ben Fiasco Knots. He was in the band one for sure. And we had like a fantasy one he was on. 
Kyle, did you see the DLC episodes for 15 continuing into spring of next year? Yes. Yeah, and chat... Kind of seems like... One of them is non-canon. And you know the one I'm referring to? I think that's a little whack. Colin's photo album. What you got, Colin? But the other ones I'm definitely into. Actually, I wonder why, how, um... Oh, cool. Whew, we got our card. We missed a card, chat. We gotta go back into the burrows. Wow. We gotta hit that. We gotta hit the telephone booth. We gotta hit that phone booth. Time to put these denoming gloves to good use. Mum wants us to throw these n to fling a no. You're going to need a good run up. Hit the once you reach the. Colin was following me the whole time. It is creepy that he has these photos, isn't it? Press the triangle button to throw. No. Early. Great throw! <laughs> That's as far as anyone can throw them. Hmm, thank you. <laughs> too early and too late. It's so hard to get that timing right. Vorak. 13 months. Thank you, Vorak. <laughs> Why does he do an evil laugh? Why does he do that? Uh, chat... Help me remember the name of the princess in Final Fantasy XV. She's getting a DLC chapter, and, like, I wonder how that will play, you know? I wonder if that'll be cool, like, worth doing, you know? Luna Freya, thank you. <laughs> Knocked. You gotta marry Luna Freya. Oh, chat. <laughs> chat, I thought we had it. Okay. Or Stella, the real one. Excellent, Harry. Chat, that was really good. Yeah, fun. I do. Do you want to play again? You're gonna have to tell me about Stella. Because I wasn't really paying attention to Versus 13. <laughs> well, we know it's not in the bush. What happens if you throw the gnomes backwards? Worth trying. It's like Wii Bowling, right? You gotta see. Okay. I was pretty sure he died. <laughs> Try again, Harry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that sound effect, man. Come on. <laughs> Chat. Chat. I think we just have to get a super high score. Let's break a thousand. I think that's what we've got to do. Dang. <laughs> Sorry, chat. I thought I had it. 
Someone said 800 points. Okay, that's easy. We can do that. I'm gonna hit that car. <laughs> oh, come on, game. He went right through it. Wow! Great score! Thanks, Ron. That was really good fun. Do you want to play again? Okay, you have five throws. You get a hundred for a super long throw. So, uh, you definitely have to hit some targets. Uh, Mighty Floor Pie, 25 months. Yo, I didn't mean that kind of quit. Good thing we turned autosave on. Yes. Chat, if we didn't have autosave on, I would have stopped playing this game forever. <laughs> Even though I'm having a great time, I would not do that two hours ever again. After meeting Fred and George Weasley. Okay, again. yes, yes, yes. Actually, that's good. That's a good kind of catch me up. Okay. 800 points. We got this, chat. We got this. Time to put this denomination. Mom wants us to, to flip. Why don't you re Okay. Uh, I think the beehive is the most points. So I'll go for that first. That 250. Press the triangle button to throw. <laughs> <laughs> 99 though, we need 99, that's good. And what's cool is doing max and trying to hit either of the phone booth is like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, Chatteroonie. We need more. We need more bonus points. I'm gonna hit that car. Yeah, baby. You hit the car. Shagadelic. Kyle, would you stream Frogger for the PS1? No. I, uh, that's a game, you know, your relatives give you that game. Um, I don't enjoy it. I put too much time into, like, trying to beat that game. Get off me? Is that what he's saying? Get that frog. Get that frog. Get that frog. Yes. Just chill. Look at him just swim. Is he... is he dead? That one I think is dead. I don't think he was swimming, chat. He was not moving. Get that 99. Great throw! That's as far as anyone can throw them! Strongest man in the world, Harry Potter. Excellent, Harry! That's your all-time highest score! Yardley Platt. That was really good fun. Never again, Ron. Again. Never again, bud. Pac-Man RPG game? That I do not know about. Would you stream the 3D Frogger Fantasy Platformer? Yes. Chat, you know that sounds exactly like my kind of game. I remember the box art now. Yeah, heck yeah, I would stream that game. 
No question. Check out our new card. Ignatia Wildsmith. Felix Greta Catchlove. Dorcas Web Yardley Platt. Is that it right there? Serial Goblin Killer. Hmm. Makes sense. It actually makes sense we got that card for what we just did. No, we were throwing gnomes. Gnomes and goblins are not the same. Okay. Oh. Wow! The Gryffindor common room! I'm going to take some pictures to send home to my dad. Have a look at my photo album, Harry. It's on the table. My photos aren't like ordinary photographs. My photos are magic. All right, Colin. Um, am I ever going to finish that Pac-Man game? Uh, maybe if you catch me doing another Wii U stream, because uh, it's on the Wii U. If I'm doing that, start shouting Pac-Man at me, and then we can like add it, tack it onto whatever else we're Come streaming. Come on, herbology's in one of the greenhouses outside. Let's go. Okay. I want to know how the story ends, chat. All the frogs are gone. Just ate them all. Lucent Tech full playthrough. What is Lucent Tech? Is that the game we played a little bit of and I just, that weird RPG that I gave up on? Kyle, how about a Neil Young stream? You want me to take out the old 12 string? I could do it. Herbology. To get to the greenhouses, we need to go outside. If we're going outside, let's keep away from the Whomping Willow. Don't remind me. Yeah, Chad, I gotta say, going outside was way cooler on the PS2 game. Um, have I ever played Chibi Robo? No. Uh, I own it, and I put it up for a vote a few times. Never wins, but someday we're gonna play Chibi Robo. Castle Crowns. How weird is it Dragon Quest XI doesn't have voice acting in Japan? Really weird. And it didn't do that great in Japan, right? I mean, relative to other games, maybe, but relative to Dragon Quest games, no. Is that the correct assumption? So, chat, this is why I like Harry Potter games. If you just remove everything you think about Harry Potter... Like, Herbology's this way. All right, Ron. Let me walk, dude. Like, look at these cool environments we get to hang out in. You know? Like, there aren't a lot of PS1 games where the camera is behind your character and you can fully explore a castle in 3D at your own whim. You know? Entrance to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft. Yeah. Well, I know that's Hogwarts, Harry. Cool, 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 cool. Reminds me of the first Spyro. Yeah, chat. It's going to be cool having those Spyro remakes. I don't think it's going to do as well. Ooh. Oh, that's the way we're supposed to go. I don't think it's going to do as it's well as Crash, though. Next. Come on. I'm a little scared that Activision might have unrealistic expectations on Spyro. We'll see. We'll see. Give me some numbers on Dragon Quest. Let me know, like, what it did in relation to other Dragon Quest games. Because, I mean, like, Japan's weird in that they'll report down to, the, like, the actual number of, of games, right? Did you ever play Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix on Wii? Yes. Why? My roommates rented it. How funny is that? My roommates rented that game. And they're like, hey, Kyle, can we use your Wii? This is senior year of college. Um, and I was like, yeah. And yeah, you used motion controls to move things. Which was really fun. But yeah, you can actually, you can move things in the air on the PS3 version. And it's way more fun. Don't care for it. Chat, you got the facts? 
You got the facts? Give me the Dragon Quest facts. Dang, yeah, this is, like... You don't see this stuff on PS1 too much. This is cool. I heard about the flying car. Classic! Professor Sprout has put me here... Classic! ...all students where Greenhouse 3 is. It's through here. Brilliant. Do you think we'll see a new bra brand new see, Crash game announced at E3 it. next year? This is the door I don't to think the this year. Classroom. See you in there, Harry. Classic. Yeah, so I mean, like, that could have been a cutscene. That could have been one uh, area, you know, room, I guess we're kind of moving through. Uh, but I like that it was three, you know what I mean? It gives you an appreciation for how far we went off campus to go to uh, herbology class. Get to herbology class before the timer runs yeah. out. Yeah, Walk through the floating hourglasses to start the timer. If you beat the school record for the quickest time to class, Professor Sprout may reward you with something special. Ooh, like a card? Okay, I'm ready. Dragon Quest XI sold two mil. Yeah, isn't that even, like, isn't that even, like, underperforming based off the series pedigree? Okay. It's hard. Chat, it's a D-pad. Lower. There we go. So that I'm assuming the red notch is the high score. Halfway there, Chatteroonie. Ignoring the beans. Okay, get the card. Ignore the beans. Oh, we're not gonna make it. Dang. I made one mistake. Um, I'm gonna fail out. I really want to get that card, and I don't want to have to go back and check out Colin's book. Ooh, the music! Mr. Potter, being late for Herbology is not a good example to set for the first years. Okay. That didn't happen. That was an alternate timeline. Okay, so now I know that one rises and sinks. We're fine. Slightly better than last time. <gasps> Tingle. <laughs> Related to Tingle, for sure. Chat, how lame is it that there's like a Tingle Island in Breath of the Wild, but no other reference to Tingle? Not classic. That's it, chat. Okay, all right. Uh, it looks does look like the beans carry over, so looks like when I fail, I can at least collect some beans. Tingle of the wind, Damiani, is that you? And Damiani, do you think it's lame that there's no tingle? Be truthful with me. Be honest, dude. Is that a shortcut chat? Mr. Potter. I don't think so. Okay. They have a tingle outfit. Well done.
true. But I mean, they have a lot of outfits, dude. None of that stuff is canon. Damiani, all those outfits are really gonna, like, muddy up the timeline, you know? I don't think it's a shortcut chat. Oh, come on, Harry. I think it's, like, optional beans for our way back or something. Second year herbology class. Nah, I don't want those points. We're gonna have to go back in Colin's book. <sighs> Harry. Welcome to Herbology. If you beat Please the timer, the reward isn't a card. Is it more Gryffindor points? It's teasing. An A, B, or C grade That's a moral be achieved girl. in this class. There will be rewards for excellence. So try your best. Watch my wand move around the screen and press the symbols it points to. Complete each sequence three times to learn the Incendio Duo spell. Oh, create fire? Get ready. Sure. Okay. 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 I guess she doesn't like my timing. Okay. Oh, we get a cup for that? Okay, that's sick. Most impressive. I'm gonna get that card. Now that try cup. this one. Keep trying. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Early. I was I was going too late before. Bravo! Now con- Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Is this how I get a cup too, chat? Do I need to- Oh. Oh, let me redo it, teacher. I get it now. Mr. Potter, you have achieved a passing grade. No, now teacher. Follow me into greenhouse three. I want an A. This game is hard, chat. They didn't even like. <sighs> Give me a second chance, teach. I was getting there. I was learning the rhythm for perfects. Do you intend to play God of War, or is that an after-box peak type of thing? I'm gonna play God of War. I'm doing it, chat. What sucks is that it will delay box peak, but I need it. I'm gonna, like, I probably won't do, like, four or five hour sessions. It's probably gonna be, like, one a night. Oh yeah, these little screamy babies. Welcome to Greenhouse 3. That's why he's got the headphones this on. This is a mandrake. Its cry is very dangerous, which is That looks good, realize. chat. I need you to collect at least three mandrakes from this greenhouse. Of course, the more Vex mandrakes Shanu you bait. collect, the more house points for Gryffindor. Where are you, mandrakes? I hear you. Chat. I need those house points. Harry, wait. What? Speak up, Hermione. <laughs> Look, that mandrake's being attacked by those giant slugs. 
Keep the slugs away from the mandrake using your incendio duo spell. Boop, Once boop, the slugs are boop, out of the way, boop. use Wingardium Leviosa to pull them out. Good luck, Harry. Thanks, Hermione. Burn them. Incendio! Burn the slugs. Slow motion. Okay. All right, chat. Doesn't it seem like there should be a sound cue with that? Oops, wrong way. Like ba 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 You know, any something. Something, Harry. Burn. Burn slugs. Yeah, this is a burning. Give me some house points. Ooh, a golden slug. Can't wait to kill you. Incendio! Burn, dude. Incendio! Burn things seems like a really good spell to teach 11 year olds, you know? Oh, not yet, actually. Here we go. Okay, I'm actually gonna go backwards, Chit. I'm gonna go to that room I missed before we open that door. Because I'm all about house points, baby. Oh, I like that spider, by the way. Ooh, footprints. are these? Little eggplants? Hey, they make beans. I'll kill them all. Chat, these eggs. What are these? Chat, what are these? Somewhat later quest, I guess. They're cool. Okay, and there's my teacher, right? That way? Okay. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good to continue on forward. I'm really not happy about my test score. Incendio! It looks like they actually Incendio! don't attack the mandrake. Oh. Mm. Uh, the spell works poorly. Incendio! I gotta say that. So you can't activate it until the game senses that you're in range of a target. This is disturbing. This is disturbing. Is there really no way for me to uh, win the cup now? Uh. We're gonna get all those mandrakes. We're gonna get all those mandrakes, don't worry about it. Um, is there no way to use the magic uh, photographs to go back and uh, pass that test? Let me know, chat.
Welcome to Greenhouse. This is a mandrake. Its cry is very dangerous. Oh, I'm familiar with mandrakes. Is, I need you to collect at least three mandrakes from this greenhouse. Of course, the more mandrakes you collect, the more help. Okay. Gotta get those points, chat. The world of Harry Potter is all about points. What are you? What are you? You're a special butterfly. I know you are. We'll come back for that. What? Speak up, Hermione! Look! That mandrake's being attacked by those giant slugs! Game? Keep the slugs away. Once the slugs are out... Good luck, Harry! Yeah, so like in the PS2 version, this is like... You're in a way smaller greenhouse and you're just like plucking them out. Like, it's so crazy. This is it's in, like an entire level. You just gotta be a little more systematic with these things. Wingardium Leviosa! Okay. Man, these little onion babies. I do like killing the eggplants. We're gonna save all the mandrakes, chat. I won't let a mandrake die. What's up, dude? Like my flower spell? Oh, come on. Fighting you slugs. I hate fighting you. Like, oh, uh, uh, let me, let me, let me, let me. Game? Game? Incendio! <gasps> the, like, the slugs are faster than I am. Those slugs are just too fast. Uh, the Nerdazoid. I think that Spider-Man's release date's great for Spider-Man. Um, all the other games that were getting announced for September, I was like, oh, good for them. That's a good month. I feel differently now. Uh, September is no longer like, oh, yeah, that's good for them. You know, like Spidey, Spidey just made September legit. So it's a little complicated now. Two for one, baby. Incendio. You're mine now. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> Remember the heal cheat? No, no, no. I've cheated in many games, but I don't know if I will ever cheat in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. We have too much pride. Oh game. Oh game. Incendio! So I guess it's like trying to prevent me from sniping, right? Is that why it does that? Incendio! Oh, I hear him chomping on it. Leave him alone. Leave him alone, slugs. Leave him alone. Leave him alone, slugs. Stop chomping. Okay, Harry, you gotta die again. I'm gonna do this one more time. 
One more time. Yeah, that slug is gonna kill you, dude. Mm hmm. One more time, Harry. Come on, baby. The sounds of the slugs chomping on those little mandrakes. Give me a break. Die again, Allie. Well done, Steven CT. Well done. Welcome to Green. This is a mandrake. Oh, I know my mandrake. This is very dangerous. Mm. Which is. I need you to collect at least three mandrakes from this greenhouse. Of course, the more mandrakes you collect, the more house points for Gryffindor. Favorite Spider-Man movie and favorite actor that portrayed the character. Homecoming to both. Harry, Tell me about what? it, Hermione. Tell me about Speak it. Speak up, Hermione! Look! That mandrake's being attacked by those giant slugs! Keep the slugs of once a Chomp that mandrake. Incendio. It's my mandrake. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> the like the ambient noise continues too. Man, somebody had a thought there that just like didn't quite connect. Um, I'm not gonna do the beans. I have no patience for them right now. Harry? Dude, Harry? Incendio! 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 This guy's got cover. Come on, bud. Come on. Yeah, chat, I think it was so cool that Amazing Spider-Man went Gwen Stacy. <laughs> Game. The Mandrake was actually blocking the fire. He was blocking the spell. Um, but it just like didn't, you didn't feel it, you know? You didn't feel for Gwen Stacy, which is impossible. It's the coolest thing to like try to do. Okay. It's the next one, right? Why do I only have two mandrakes? Oh yeah, we're gonna be methodical about this chat. Incendio! I'm not gonna aggro any of those golden snails. Incendio! Till we're ready to open fire. It's so dumb that they will not attack the mandrake until I start hurting them. Oh, no, okay, there they go. Incendio. Harry, not the right one, dude. Incendio. You gotta be kidding me. Incendio. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, activate, activate, come on. Ah. One more, one more, I just chat? My goodness, this is very frustrating. I don't... Ugh. Because here's the way the spell works, okay? Once they have a green thing above their heads, 
you press X. And unlike the other spells, you can't mash it out, you have to charge it. For the first half second of charging the spell, there is no indication that you're charging it. So you press X, and Harry does not, it, like, move any differently at all. And it turns out he was charging it, and so you'll- oh. Oh. Harry, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna make this gold slug kill you. Yes. It has to happen like this. You gotta protect the mandrakes. Oh, man. Gotta protect those mandrakes. Welcome to Green. This is a mandrake. Its cry is very dangerous. I need you to collect at least three mandrakes from this greenhouse. Okay. Of course, the more mandrakes you collect, the more house. Let's do it. <sighs> mandrakes. Mandrakes. Harry, what? Speak up, Hermione. This game is broken. No, it's just hard. Look. Mandrake's being attacked by those giant slugs. It's known as one of the harder PS1 games. Good luck, Harry. Slugs. That slugs are the hardest enemy in the game so far. I mean, what were they thinking? So I think you just gotta be patient and you gotta let them take bites. Because there's nothing you can do, because you have to wait for this spell to charge up anyway. You gotta let him take some bites. Hey, how'd I get this dead already? Who did this to me? I'm gonna kill some eggplants. See that spell? Bah. Duo Incendium? Gotta charge it. I don't know, V-Smoke. Like, Emma Stone is a ridiculously good actor. You know? I couldn't blame any of the failure of those movies on her. Except I guess it is weird when, like, two actors are, like, in a relationship in real life. Incendio! Makes you feel weirder about the relationship on screen. Incendio! Mauled charcoal. 18 months. <laughs> Cut slips through the boxes. Hope Incendio! you're not talking about box speak. Because that idea is insane. Mandrake time. Wingardium Leviosa. Is Hubert doing the MLB 18 review? I believe he is. He just had to prioritize God of War. There we go. Okay. Okay. It's just chat, you know, like, you design a game, right? You design a game, and, I mean, there's a clear progression of challenge here. I just wonder how they envision this fight going. I have to admit, I think it's a mistake that I go north at any, t any point. Um, going south sucks, though, because the Mandrake will eat your spell. Right? The slugs can use that for cover. 
So I think I just have to go south and move left and right. Let him take some chomps and try to balance attacking both golden slugs. I think that's just what we have to do, chat. All right, here we go. Have you played the first PS1 game? Yep, I have. Not on stream. Oh, then he attacks me. Oh, you horrible slugs. Yeah, 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 but get away from the mandrake. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Go. Why are they faster than me? Why? Why? They're slugs. Why? They're slugs. What do I do? Chat? Oh, no, no, no. Leave that mandrake alone. Ah. Chat, I'm dead. I'm dead. The cold slugs killed me. Oh my gosh. Incendio! I'm dead, chat. Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! I'm so dead. All right, so we know there's a chocolate frog down that hallway. But we also know that there is a golden snail who we've willingly, willingly let kill us. But now I don't want him to kill us. Oh, oh, oh. What's up? got to get him in a frame trap, chat. I think I've been overcharging. No surprises. No surprises. Slug spotted. No mandrake. There's the mandrake. Incendio! Incendio! Okay. Uh, one black slug, one gold, and another one? I feel like once I enter the room, chat, then gold is going to go after the mandrake. Question is just uh, if there's another gold on that side. All right, so I'm going to come in from the south and do what I can there again. <laughs> yes, there is another gold one. What? Harry, come on, dude. Incendio. Incendio. <sighs> Wingardium Leviosa. Chat, you know I generally try not to swear on stream. Takes all my willpower. Takes all of it. Rest assured, if the camera was off, I'd be cursing like a sailor. Um, it's not a save point. It's not a save point. Oh, 
Who's giggling? What's giggling? What's giggling? What's giggling, chat? Drink potion. Heck yeah. Hey, here's some magical music. Ooh, yes. Okay, I feel good about that. Is it the butterflies giggling? By the way, there's like, there's no way my cousin like picked it up and like beat this part, right? Incendio! There's no way. Okay, ooh. I think there's at least three golds in that set. I wonder if we can kill this one from down here. Here's the trick, and then when he comes back around... Ooh. Incendio! What do you think of this, you dumb slug? Not really. Yeah, what do you think of that? You gonna eat the mandrake? Incendio! You gonna eat my mandrake? You gotta lock on, Harry. Incendio! I don't think he wants to lock on anymore. Okay, so... Ooh. Nice shot, dude. Oh, no. That one's going after Mandrake. Oh, it's not. It's not, actually. Incendio! I overreacted. Oh! That one's going after the Mandrake! Don't you do it! Incendio! Leave him alone! Harry, wrong target! Follow me, follow me, follow me. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that Mandrake. That Mandrake's Incendio! dead, chat. That Mandrake is dead. That's a dead Mandrake. Leave him alone. Oh, leave him alone. Incendio! You're awful. You're awful. You're awful. You're awful. You're all awful. Incendio! Oh, you're awful. You're awful, slugs. Incendio! You're awful. You're horrible. You're horrible. Oh. Can you hear Chat, I think we got really good at defending Mandrakes. I think we got really good at it. <laughs> I think we just like got good at that, you know? <laughs> okay. Now what? No surprises. No surprises. surprises. One of these eggs again. Excited for Into the Spider-Verse. Only kind of. Cool trailer. Don't care for, like, Spider-Verses. Chat, is it gonna be a thing where, like, we're talking about alternate dimensions and different Spider-Mans? Don't care for that. Oh, man, like, when Spidey met Spider-Pig and it's just, like, this is what I look like in my universe. It's like, ugh. Ugh. No, thank you. Superb. You managed to save all the mandrakes. 50 house points to Gryffindor. Off you go now. Thank you for the house points. Oh. <sighs> okay. Why is this part so long? It's because I insisted on getting all of the mandrakes. You know, if we were if we were content to save three. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Did you know that you can enter the herbology classroom through that secret passage over there? Ooh. It takes you straight to the classroom where you can try and improve your grade. Ah, uh, Chad, I want that A. Yeah, let's get that A. I hope this doesn't involve mandrakes, right? 
Okay, we saved it anyway. So if it does involve mandrakes, we'll just exit back to the main menu. I'm assuming it's just the spell. Welcome back to my herbology class. Would you like to try and improve? Yes. An a, B, or C grade can be achieved in this class. I'm gonna get an S. Watch my wand move around the screen and press the complete E. Get ready. Okay. Perfect. 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 Is it crunch time? You're right, it is. All right, we gotta crunch on the A. No, I want to do the race Most too. Impressive. We're gonna crunch on the now race. Try this one. Okay. Perfect. 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 Mm. Bravo. Now concentrate. Perfect. 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 Just very good at magic, chat. Just very good at magic. Wow, you actually Mr. have to be pretty good to get an A, huh? Achieved an A grade in herbology. Well done. With such a good grade, there is no need for you to return to my class. Good. I'm never coming back. I'm never coming back. All right, so let me see if I can go back up to the old photo book and try to have a good run to class. Ooh. A messenger owl. Harry, it's time to practice your seeker skills. No, 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 no. Meet me at the Quidditch training pitch across the bridge from Hogwarts main entrance. Hedwig will show the way. Oliver Wood. No, thank you, Oliver. Herbology class. Ooh, Quidditch Stadium, that's sick. We have a mission though. Oh man. I'm gonna have to learn my LNRs if I'm going to. Ooh, who lives here, chat? Who lives here? Hey. Let me in, bud. Hagrid? Keep out, pumpkin patch, Hagrid. Aww. That's cool. What if you can never go in and, like, that's the most you can see of the pumpkin patch? That'd be cool. Ooh. <laughs> you thought the slugs were bad. <laughs> but some snails. Oops, no, 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 we actually do not want to do the Quidditch pitch. Enemy designer so proud of himself. <laughs> I was thinking, um, perhaps snails goes home for the day. See you tomorrow, then. Okay, so we want to go this way. Digivolve. And <laughs> they had spikes on their shells. Come on. Come on. Slugs and snails are slow. They're known for being slow. Man, those slugs. I'm assuming, chat, that those are the last slugs I fight for the whole game. Right? But man, I did not enjoy those slug fights. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, poof. 
but that is the way back to... That's the way back, right? I think just everything leads back to the Quidditch pitch. Is that why they're saying that? Like every other path is back there. <sighs> Will this say Quidditch pitch? No. Hedwig is taking me this way. Huh? Um, whatever. So I'll, I'll just go where this one takes me. Was Chamber of Secrets on PS2 also? Yeah, it's funny. I mean, I have both. It's like the exact same box art, even. Look at these. Oh. Same dumb thing. Completely different games. They're so different. So chat, you know that part that I'm making fun of for having no music? I think it does have music. And uh, I think we're just having disc issues. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why Hedwig says this is the way to the pitch. Okay, all right, all right. <sighs> Sorry I turned around, chat. I should have been more confident. Might try to play it at some point. Yeah, I recommend it. It's um, it's cool up until the library, up until you gotta fight books. Nice, Kyle. And then, yes, I'm a camera master. Yes. Okay. Right is left. Left is right. We got this. Save it up. Yeah, I actually really like the photo sound. Authentic. All right, chat. One last thing. We just got to do one more thing, and then we're done for the night. It's no small task. Wattlebird. Wattlebird. A waddle bird. Chat, is there a picture of what a waddle bird looks like? Is, uh, is there a reference for that? What happens if you Google water, wattle bird? Wattle bird. Did you know that if you eat a chocolate frog, you get back stamina? Yes. Yes, Colin, I do. Okay, nice. That was appropriate. Hey, look at that. That's an A, everybody. That's what an A looks like. Okay. All right, Colin, help me out, dude. <laughs> They're actual birds? That's a real thing? Multiple bird? <laughs> Sounds like a Harry Potter thing, right? Hey, should I just throw some more gnomes? How do I do it? Do I have to go back to the door, maybe? Or is there no second chance on that? How do we do it, chat? I'll go back to the door. I'll go back to that wooden door. That may have been our one and only chance. Maybe you're still in the level. Oh, that's a good theory, B. Mercury. That, like, they he, he develops his photos in chunks. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Brilliant. Chat, I think you're right. You have 50 every favor beans. Mm -hmm. Paracelsus. Paracelsus. Ignatia Wildsmith, Felix Summerby, 
Greta, Cat, Dorcas, w Yardley, Platt, Helga, Huffle, Chauncey Aldridge, Herpo the Foul. I like Herpo. I think it's my favorite. Of the Basilisk. And he actually did a cool thing. Hengist of Woodcroft, Paracelsus, mm. greatest of all medieval alchemists. So, Chad, I have a question. If you Google Paracelsus, hey, is Paracelsus that, does that name exist outside of Harry Potter? Of all medieval alchemists. Is he like a Merlin type? Is Merlin in Harry Potter lore? Does Harry Potter lore contain both Jesus and Merlin? So Paracelsus does exist outside of Harry Potter lore. That's cool. He was real? Sick. Oh, look. Yeah, we need that shield. I need that shield. Merlin is in Harry Potter lore. Great. Gotta get that shield. I'm hooked on this stuff, Chad. If you, like, if you put a silhouette on a menu, just like Zelda, you gotta fill that thing up. Defense against the dark arts. It's definitely spaced out weird, right? We know that there's four trophies, but for some reason they're only presenting two on this menu. Harry Potter report card. Like, look, Mom and Dad. <laughs> I beat a bunch of wizard duels. All right, chat. Um, this is where we're going to end it for the night, then. Uh, we will learn how to play Quidditch, and then we will... Oh, I see. The other two are not for classes, are they? There are shields. So that would have been the one that I would have gotten for, yep, doing that race. And is there, is that a race as well? Okay, got it. Two trophies, two races. All right, so we're gonna get that little shield. I'm not finishing the game without getting that shield. Um, have a look at my photo album, Harry. Yeah, I know. So Colin's gonna upload more photos into his photo album. Oh, how many do we have? Do we have 10 yet? Ignatia Wilde. We do, we do chat. We do. One of these people said ten, didn't they? I gotta do the second duel. I think it's the one on the right wants ten cards. Dual crunch. Yep. Look, the Weasleys gave me another card. What do you want from me? Go right plus L. Yes. Come on through, foolish Gryffindor. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> foolish Gryffindor. Sorting house quiz. Oh, online? No. No, no, no. Not my type of thing, chat. Not my type of thing. A duel against a slug? That'd be so sick. Ooh, Ravenclaw. Welcome, Harry Potter, to the Ravenclaw dueling arena. I am the Ravenclaw wizard dueling champion. This voice actor had his mouth closed time. as he delivered his lines. Young Harry. Very few have ever defeated me. Come on. Come on. Let's duel. Let's duel. Get ready. Duel. Uh, chat. I love the setup for this. Ooh. I got hit by thorns. Oh, and that's the first round to Potter. I rarely lose. Perfect. Get ready. Duel. And round two gets underway. Let me warn you, this is my favorite place to hang out. Oh, a great move from Potter. I think these mushrooms are cool. Oh, I thought I dodged that. Great stuff. Oh, and that's so cool from the champion. Ah! Ah! 
Sparta respond well. Man, this guy knows magic pixel. I was just trying to spam him that whole time and I got hit a bunch of times. <laughs> Have this famous witches and wizards card. <laughs> Look, he was totally ready for it. And look out! <clears throat> there goes my wand. Oh man. Pleasantly surprised by it. Not bothered at all that his wand just poofed out. And he trash talked us so much, like when we first met him. Why do their wands explode? Good question. Is that a game thing or a book thing, everybody? Well done, Harry. I'm impressed. You emerge victorious. Mm -hmm. I shall be interested to see if you can beat the Slytherin dueling champion as well. So chat, who's edgier? Ravenclaw or Slytherin? It's a game thing, okay. I like it. I like that their wands just poof out. Slytherin is edgier? Well then what is the deal with Ravenclaw? I feel like they're the ones that get ignored the most. Like there's no cool Ravenclaw characters or important Ravenclaw characters. Man, there's cool stuff out there, chat. We're gonna find out what's going on out there. We're gonna learn. Luna Freya is from Ravenclaw. All right. Hufflepuff gets ignored way more. No, it doesn't. No, because everyone's like Neville Longbottom is the secret best character. This story is actually about Neville. If you pay attention, Neville's the protagonist the whole time. So Hufflepuff is actually really good. So I'm a Hufflepuff. <laughs> I'm Hufflepuff. Huff Neville is Gryffindor? You're right. And then I actually don't know what the point of Hufflepuff is. Neville Longbottom is totally Hufflepuff. <laughs> all right if you say so chat if i were the sorting hat i'd put that kid in the hufflepuff so i'm what i'm trying to do right now chat is just um get to an area where i, I see the auto save icon which i assume will happen if we leave hogwarts Oops. Newt Scamander is Hufflepuff. Okay. Dang. Yeah, I mean, Eddie Rainman is a really good actor too, right? Oh. Hey, we didn't check out the stained glass. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. There it is. There's our save icon. We can end the game now. All right, Chatteroonie. That's it. We're this, that's, that's it until next Friday. We're going to go across the bridge. We're going to learn how to play Quidditch. And then immediately after that chapter is done, we're going to do our race again. And get a time within 50 seconds. What game is better, PS2 or PS1 so far? Um, so I think PS2 is a better game. I just really wanted to play this PS1 game now. Um, as I said, like it's compact, you know what I mean? Uh, we're gonna 100% it, no problem, in like probably four weeks, you know what I mean? So like, it's the kind of commitment I'm into. Um, so yeah, it's 
it's its own unique game. It's very different in in many many ways, and so I think it's worth playing this. You know, even though it is a worse game. So it's cool. I'm having a really good time with this. Beat this game in four weeks. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I don't, actually, I really don't know. I mean, we did half the classes, right? That we're gonna do, and we're like. We're only like 15 minutes into the movie, I feel like, right? At what point was Harry grabbing those little mandrakes out of the dirt? I feel like we're only 15 minutes in. Chat, thank you for telling me so much about Harry Potter lore. Thank you for being patient. Like, now I know that Neville Longbottom is Gryffindor. Seems like he lucked into it, though, right? He's a Hufflepuff. He's a Hufflepuff kind of guy. How come I can't be Ravenclaw? Ravenclaw seems like the cool one. It's two cool words. Gotta be Slytherin, huh? Alright. Okay. Kyle, just trolling. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Not just trolling. No Nevilles. No Neville in this chat. I didn't know his parents are dead. Poor Neville. They were they're dead at like episode one. I see. And that's why you all think that he's the real antagonist. I got it. Sorry, protagonist. Ravenclaw's too cool. Good to know. Alright. Uh, yeah, I guess I belong in Slytherin. Cause just like cause chat like why do that to students, you know? Why separate your students like that? Why make your students hate each other and, like, think that they're better than the other students because they were sorted into one of these groups? The wizards are wrong. That was a bad idea. Like, it's cute to belong, you know what I mean? Like, people in fraternities and sororities, they, like, they feel like a belonging, and I get that. But I guess the idea of the school forcing you into four different groups and like pitting you against each other making one group inferior to the others it's weird it's weird it's an evil school and then like it doesn't matter too you know that's the part that would really bother me like i work really hard to get points all year long and then like harry potter does something dumb Gets a ton of points. I mean, I guess that's... I think that's intentional, actually. I think they meant to make him a little hated, right? Like, you would hate that kid. I think that's totally intentional. The very best says one or a couple of the founders of Hogwarts were against the houses. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I get that. Cool. Hey, as long as there were some characters who were, like, pushing back against the idea, I'm, I'm on board. Because, yeah, I think, like, I think in a narrative, it's actually a really cool idea, right? In, t in terms of, like, sell telling a story, that's sick. Yeah, I like that. Okay, Chatteroonie. Uh, thank you to all the people who use your Twitch uh, Prime resubs. I'm, again, reminding everybody that if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free Twitch Prime Twitch subscription. Uh, that you do like once a month. You're like, oh, I'm this person this month, this person this month, this person this month. If your person is easy allies every month, that's pretty cool for us. Um, on our end, those subs are exactly the same as any other sub, so it's very cool. Um, I'm surprised by how many people have Amazon Prime, you know? Uh, I think my perception of, about it for the past four years is like, Amazon Prime's for rich people. Uh, but then I got it I can't remember why. I just I was oh, it was when I was buying PC parts. That's when I got Amazon Prime. It's just like I was getting a lot shipped, and I was like, man, I should just do it. I should bite the bullet. And now I just like have it and buy a lot of stuff off Amazon. Um, but yeah, I'm like one of those people who has it. But it turns out like it's a lot of people. It's half the households in the U.S. Is that true, shy guy? Does Amazon have that kind of grip on the U.S. economy? 
Bezos, dude. Drowns. Wow. It's $40 for you? Where do you live? It's like, I think it's like 110 is what I pay. I like Prime for games. Yeah. I subscribe. This is interesting. I subbed to game trailers when you guys beat Sephiroth. Uh, moved my sub over to EZA and bought Amazon Prime specifically to get Twitch Prime because I was already spending $60 per year on Twitch, $40 on Amazon Prime, basically. Yeah, you're right. Half off for students. Cool. Did not know that. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Good to be a student. The free shipping makes it worth it. Yeah, in the end, like, I do save money on that. It's cool. Prime Video. Yeah, I look at it because, you know, the app's on the PS4. I don't usually find stuff on Prime Video. Maybe I'm just not looking hard enough. Like, maybe I should watch that Jean-Claude Van Damme show. The streaming movies. Actually, yeah, chat. I got on a whole Captain America thing because they gave me... Captain America 1 for free on Amazon Prime and I was like yeah I'll watch this and then of course I'm hooked and so then I'm spending money on Amazon Prime to like rent it and so like I watched all the Captain Americas and then I think I watched all the Iron Mans just buying them it's like five dollars to rent and I'm like all right I'll do it yeah it was crazy yeah 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 you're right so I have spent some time on the Amazon Prime app 20% off game pre-orders Hey, are we just selling Amazon now? Is, I think this was their goal, wasn't it? This is what they wanted all along, and you know they're tracking it. You know, there's there's something that's reading. Uh, every time we mention Amazon, there's like a little light that goes off, and somebody's listening. And they're so that's why they buy Twitch. You know, they're like, hey, all these young people are watching people play video games. Let's be part of the conversation. And so they buy Twitch, right? And then they integrate Amazon Prime into Twitch, and now they're making money off me just talking about it. Easy Amazon. Two years, we're going to be easy Amazon. Yeah. They turned everyone into Amazon shills. Yeah. Well, you know what's also good is local mom and pop game stores. If you have a game dude near you, check out your game dude. Check out your World 8. <laughs> check out your mom and pops. <laughs> and then they sort us into houses. Just boop, boop, boop. And we're all so happy. <laughs> My Amazon house is very good. Thoughts on the new DK model for Switch? What? So, Ken, someone else was talking about this earlier in chat, and they said, like, nose job, and I thought they were making it up. Um, give me an image. Give me an image of that. Uh, Jasmine recommends The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. You gotta give me more than a title, because I don't... After that title, I'm not interested in the show. I need a synopsis. Amazon Alexa is going to sort us. <laughs> oh, that's such a funny comment. <laughs> Hufflepuff. It's like, oh, uh, fine. I'll get my truck. And you just drive off to wherever the Hufflepuffs live. <laughs> oh, Ken, I don't want to watch a YouTube video. Give me a, give me a screenshot. Because we're live, baby. I mean, I guess I could just watch that after we go offline. Okay. Okay. All right, Chatteroonie. Alexa would have put Neville where he belongs. Yes. Yeah. Alexa would have. Mm -hmm. Neville. You're clearly Hufflepuff. I, no, I'm sorry, Chad. I, I need a screenshot of Donkey Kong. I can't go offline without that. Do you hear this wind? It's cool. PS1, baby. Chad, I can't go offline until we get a screenshot. Hey man, big fan. Just wondering if any of you Easy Allies have jobs or if Easy Allies is your full-time job. Great question. Um, Don has a full-time job. Uh, as an editor for uh, 
Funhouse. Uh, the rest of us, Easy Eyes is either our full-time job or we just pick up scraps on the side. But yeah, Don is the only one who has a full-time job outside of Easy Allies. Um, and yeah, the rest of us, it is our primary source of income. Not much of a summary, but a housewife in the 1950s decides to become a stand-up comic set in New York. And that's Miss Maisie? That does sound good. I like that. Okay, DK knows job. Here we go. Oh. No. Oh, chat. I gotta put this up on screen. You have to see this, too. Why? Did they say why? All right, just give me one second, chat. I gotta like drag there, okay? And then drag you onto there. Uh huh. Do they give they give us a reason for this? Oh. Oh, chat. Is it just like more realistic? Do they wanted to have like actual gorilla nostrils? They didn't say it yet. They just hope nobody would notice. Okay, I'll adapt. I mean, if that's what gorillas look like, then, you know, it's the right call. I'll learn to accept this. Could just be the resolution of the picture. He looks less furry. Does he look hairier on the left? Man, I love Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. That's a good video game. Thank you, Game Explain, by the way. We should give him credit for that image. Thanks, Game Explain. Cool. Yeah, and Diddy's not in the game anymore. Basically, Nintendo said that, like, Diddy never made sense because he wears a Nintendo hat, and so they just cut him out of the game. That's what I heard. Go away, though. Go. There we go. Yeah, they said it would just be easier just to, like, exclude Diddy from all future games. Like, I was thinking, like, maybe just put something else on the hat, but they said, like, it wouldn't feel right. So, yeah, they just killed him off. It's weird. All right, chat. Thank you. Thank you for sending me that image. Now we can officially go offline. So Link doesn't exist. He wore a Switch shirt. Well, not in the box. Like, did he, like, in in any promotional art, is wearing a hat that says Nintendo. Diddy in Smash Brothers wears a hat that says Nintendo. And, like, it's just... You know what? I'm glad he's gone. Bye, Diddy. He's in Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, there is a Diddy costume. Question chat, does the hat say Nintendo in Super Mario Odyssey? It's weird. Um, what I like to pretend most of the time is that like Nintendo is just like a toy company in this universe, but then like he pulls out a 3DS and I'm like, uh, well, okay, Nintendo still makes video games and so Diddy has a Nintendo hat, but they don't make Donkey Kong. And then he pulls out a Wii U and it like makes the noises of the game that you're playing and you're like okay in the universe of Donkey Kong Nintendo still makes video games and they make a game that's kind of like Donkey Kong identical in every way but doesn't have Donkey Kong in it it has some other characters same sound effects same music and that is my headcanon legitimately Doesn't the big banana say Nintendo, too, in Donkey Kong Country? Yeah, in Donkey Kong's universe, Nintendo is also Banana Company. They do both. All right, Chatteroony. All right, I should get her out of here. Okay, so check out uh, patreon.com slash easyallies. If you would like to support the Easy Allies, check out easyallies.com to see all the videos we do and our schedule and your time zone, which is pretty cool. And have a safe, happy weekend. I'm going to mute myself. I'm going to uh, wave goodbye. And I'm going to put on a little Mega Man X music. Cool. 
What if I just left the wind on for another hour? Alright, we all just watched Harry, like, look over the edge. He's got a lot on his mind. See him push away that ghost? Looked like he was pushing a ghost away. He's got a lot of idle animations. And one of them is definitely like, I feel a ghost's presence. Shoe ghost. That one right there. Why else do that? He's shooing a ghostly presence. That one suggests it's kind of hot today. He pushes up his glasses as well. Scratches his head, yep. And Chad, isn't it crazy that, like, from, from this screen right here, Harry's glasses are four pixels, and sometimes five. Four pixels. But, like, because of the way it moves, we still see glasses there. The glasses are implied. It's cool, huh? It's like pixel art is good and PlayStation 1 art is so bad. Like this doesn't hold up, right? I just like it so much. There's that ghost. Alright. 